Hello everyone and welcome back to Factorio. I am Cifacat and uh, we have way too many uh, fies. So I was thinking how best to fix that today, well the last couple of days, and I do have a couple of solutions. Hang on a moment. Ah uh, yeah, so I got a couple of solutions and the first one is to stop researching the thing that's honestly not getting researched, and we're gonna make Deep Boys transport belts. And Toastless is redeemed. What the shirt? Do 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 do. What the shirt? All right. What the shirt? Today's shirt is uh, my Outer Wild Ventures shirt. No, nope, the nope. cable's right in the way. Cable, get out of the way. Didn't really help. Outer Wilds Ventures shirt from, of course, uh, the game Outer Wilds, which is a fantastic game. And if you haven't played it, it's definitely worth your time. Very good puzzle game. You know, good exploration, and it is so good. It is so fun. Um, it is a game that definitely had puzzles in a good way that made you really think about what you were doing. Oh no, you're under the weather. Oh, have you got it? Everyone's getting COVID at the moment, it seems, in New Zealand, so that's exciting. We finally got around to it. Um, took us our sweet time, but we get there. We get there in the end. Um, so, a little bit scary. People are a little bit concerned, as they should be, but we'll be okay. So, no COVID there. Well, that's good to hear. It's, it's scaring a lot of people at the moment. Our numbers are higher than they've ever been. Which is not saying much, because our numbers were fairly low before, but, you know, they're in the thousands now, and they've never been that high. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, so. Gotta... Thanks for your support. Oh, Toastless, thank you so much. I really appreciate the subscription. Thank you. Aw, so kind of you to use your Prime that way. Uh. So, oh, and then you got a little cat paw next to you. I should get new versions of those for like different months. Uh, okay, so when we get transport belts, we're going to make the. The Arcosphere spin faster than it ever spun before. It'll be an absolute madness session. And those will be there. Okay, cool. Now we can spin our Arcospheres faster. Would you probably want to work on that at some point? <laughs> Keep your wife pays for it, that's funny. Well, that's fine. Tell her I said thanks. Or don't. You know, it's entirely up to you if you tell her that. <laughs> I'm not getting in the middle of that fight. Still, I mean, I can't imagine Amy uses a lot of Twitch. She doesn't seem like the gamer type. But maybe she's there for those uh, Twitch talk shows that I hear people doing sometimes. I know people do those. Alright, so if we can spin the Arcospheres around real fast, that would be good. And then we're going to do some. Actually, we need more Cryonite. Like, lots more Cryonite. <laughs> it is almost my birthday, that is true. And your wedding anniversary. Since you decided the best way to celebrate my birthday was have your wedding. <laughs> uh, that's not what happened at all, but it is funny that it did end up that way. Ah, uh, well, see, so you guys have Amazon, we don't. Um, Toastless, I gotta put your name in the base somewhere. Anywhere you want your name? Put your name right here if you... No, I can't put it there, that's not gonna work very well. Um... Anywhere we, we want, anywhere that you want your name in particular, or should I just find a good spot? I'll just find a good spot for your name. Don't bother with it. You sure? Alright then. If you say so. Not really any hassle, it's just the thing I like to do. Uh, speaking of things I like to do, where are these barrels not going? The answer is nowhere. They're not going nowhere. Uh, actually, what we should probably do, I think this was designed originally to conserve fuel, but uh, fuel can go to hell these days because we've got so much of it. So if we grab this, turn that down to 60, turn that to that. Okay, so that should make things a little bit easier. And allow a few more rockets to come through. 
Speaking of rockets, off they go. I think there's a we need a lot of cryonite at the moment, and it doesn't seem to be coming. Probably because of copper. Probably because of plastic and copper and gosh darn everything. Alright, well thanks for coming by Toastless. Really appreciate having you here and you take care. Thank you for your support. As the little diva voice said. So until I get that cryonite, uh, we might be I should go down and grab it myself. Go down and grab a bunch of cryonite. I see no harm in that. And what we might do today is actually power up the base. Uh, the Phonista, or whatever the hell it's called. So I was playing around with it a little bit, seeing what happens when you plug in the things it wants. And that was kind of neat. And then I realized that it needs a heck of a lot of power. So everyone's favorite meme will be back. Uh, we're going to go to Calidus and we're going to make more power than we've ever made before. Which I think people appreciate. I think people will like emitters at Calidus. What I've heard. People are rather concerned about the state of uh, emitters at Calidus. I hear the people's cries. We're going to go take that cryonite up. Probably going to be used somewhere. I mean, honestly, we probably do need more cryonite coming to the ship anyway. Hey, Veldak. Welcome, welcome. How you doing? Good to see you here. All right, we've got a ton of cryonite now. That's good. That's just good news, no matter how you look at it. So if we just chill here for a second, all the cryonite should be stripped away from us. Just as nature intended. Okay, I don't actually think nature intended us to have that much cryonite, so let's just dump it manually. You guys are taking forever. Thought I could trust you. Uh, yeah, I did glance at that. Um, I'm not going to go over that too much today because I don't really know too much about what's going on. But that's that's not good. Invasions, uh, no. You know, call me old-fashioned, but invasions, not a fan. Uh, hopefully, people are okay. But. You know, as militaristic invasions go, probably not. <laughs> anyway, I'm not going to go focus on that too much today unless it's something I need to because I don't really know what's going on and anything I say is completely hearsay. And I don't quite understand the gravity of the situation, um, such as the nice peaceful world that we usually live in. Uh, okay, so hopefully that gets us some lubricant barrels in very soon. We don't need near that many, maybe like 10 will suffice. Uh, and when that ship feels like launching, Are we still having problems with this isn't getting unloaded fast enough? Kinda, yeah. Oh no, it's fine now. Okay. Well then we can manually launch it. Oh, it's already launching. Never mind. It's got itself under control. Hell yeah. Good job, guys. My faith has been rewarded as usual. You do have to look at the right place, though, otherwise nothing's going to happen. And 
I will replace those a site with a nice fancy shiny one. I think that'll be good. And I'm just looking for a lubricant barrel. There's one. And that should make a lot of deep space uh, transport belts, hopefully. The plan is actually, we're going to put all the deep space belts over there. And then once we have, say, a good couple of hundred, uh, we will speed them up with something else. We'll put something else in there. Looks like we're actually already out of what we can make. Okay, that's fine. Because then what we do is we make a different color one. Let's make cyan. Why cyan? Why not cyan? I mean, that's the best answer I've actually got for you. Yeah, it should be... Wait, I thought we had way more than that. Oh, I've already got some in there. Okay, so we've constructed some. Probably not near the amount that we wanted, but that'll have to do. Hopefully this will allow us to speed the belt up a little bit. Because if we can speed the belt up, then... Good times. In fact, I'm just going to put that there as well. So this will hopefully allow us to make our Arcospheres just a tiny bit faster and trying to balance them out again. But I don't know if we've got nearly enough for this, but we tried. Uh, yeah, we still got 67 Phi Arcospheres. Um, they'll do what they can, I suppose, but we're going to let them go for a while. They'll figure it out. They're smart. Uh, okay. Speaking of smart, let's go to the squid. Squid, we want it to take maybe more of these. Maybe like 1400. We're going to double the amount of solar panels we want in there. And we're going to... We got 40. Yeah, double the amount of things in there as well, more or less. That's going to make my logistics bots very busy for a little while, but that's okay. Not like science is really happening right now, anyway. And science will not happen until we make, what, tes uh, tesseracts? Yeah, tesseracts is what we're running out of. And actually, the squid. Get back to the squid, which is right there. Uh, we would like maybe no, one of those is still correct but I think we want like three of these and like 18 of these and that'll be good it'll be good to have things I like whenever a drone collapses, my robots are like, oh, better take it. We'll pick up that drone. I'm like, guys, you really don't have to pick up every drone. But they're like, no, we do, man. Every drone. Okay, so we're going to need a new emitter. A Calidus. Boy, if they're not a phrase that bothers me more than I need another emitter at Calidus. <laughs> But it is needed, because when I was doing my scouting around, I realized one of the emitters at Calidus had been broken. Funnily enough, I don't think it was plugged into anything. I think it was just there. 
but it was still not great. So we're just going to let that happen. Double spathy music, clearly. Uh, we've got a bunch of Holmanite here. I don't really need the Holmanite. I can go by Holmanite. Uh, I also, no, you know what? I was going to start taking some other stuff, but I don't think so. I don't think I need to take it. So, we do need an emitter because that's right. I was just saying, because this emitter here on Calidus broke, which, you know, start the memes, I suppose. The meme train never stops. Uh, we're going to need glass. Let's just go grab glass manually. We might even have glass over here. Ah! Hello again, Nuke. Yes, train. <laughs> Scared me again. Uh, I don't know where glass is. Maybe glass isn't even real. Do we even have glass up here? That's the real question. Uh, no, we don't appear. To, we don't have. We don't have glass up here? Well, then I hope it's coming in the rat. Because. Where's the rat? Okay, the rat's bringing glass up. That's cool. The rat's gonna take a little while. There's so much to bring up. And meanwhile, this is probably also trying to bring up glass. Whether it's succeeding or not is another question. Uh, yeah, I don't see any glass. Where is the glass meant to come from? Here, I suppose? Yeah, it's getting jammed up by all the Holmanite coming through. Occasionally glass slips through, I see, but not much. So not a lot of glass is coming up right now. That's okay. The important thing is that we occasionally get glass. That's going to be my excuse anyway. Um, we need a lot of glass too, so... I don't quite know how well that's going to turn out. Uh, these do not really appear to... Oh, you know what? I know what's wrong. I know what's wrong. That average number is way too high. Uh, let's push that average number down another six. So that is going to push a lot of things into crazy go nuts mode, but it will reduce numbers, which is what we need to see. Because if you reduce numbers, that means they fire more often. And that's just simply what we need. At the moment fire is pushed up, but that's okay. That's a temporary fix. Everything else will come down as well. Uh, I really do want to bring the rat up, because I really want those uh, emitters to be done. How's the rat going? Got a lot still coming in, that's alright. We got a novice orbit, it'll sort itself out. We steal some glass, as one should always do. And we'll see what happens. Rice is still wanting iron. Where's the rat? Oh, it's still flying. Just a very slow rat. We need faster rats, clearly. Okay. I'll take a bunch of glass. Oh, we did not need three of those, but we've got three of those now. That was way more glass than we needed. Well. What are you going to do, right? What are you going to do? Uh, beam. We're going to need some beam chambers. I don't know if we actually do need beam chambers. How many beam chambers have we got on the squid right now? Four? You know, I don't think we need those. Maybe a beam collector? A beam receiver, if you will? Do 
You click on everything, eventually one of them will work. Probably don't need actually near that much glass. A thousand glass will probably suffice. And what else does it need? Heat shielding and blues. Okay, blue circuits are going to be kind of a pain, so let's just steal them. Heat shielding, let's steal that too. And copper? Put the copper in there directly, just shove it in. We don't have time to think about things, let's just jam the copper in and see what happens. Uh, and finally, these aero bulkheads. Oh, and nothing's going in because it's broken. Cool. Uh, and those things are everywhere now. That's nice. I like it when those things are everywhere. This really tells me I've not made a mistake. Alright, uh, so let's ditch all these things. I think the bots are all still doing a lot of work right now for some reason. No, not really. Okay. I thought the bots had a lot more work to do, but clearly I am wrong. Uh, okay. So we're going to go to Calidus. And we are going to make a lot of power. Is it worth making a new portable RTG now? Uh, yeah, I suppose it kind of is, isn't it? We've got the space for it, we just need to... Wait, how much are they? 5x5 five five or 4x4? Four 4x4, four? Four four. yeah, we got space for them. So, let's just make those. And do... Portable RTG, Portable RTG Mark II. They have the RTGs, that's fine. We can get those for you. Radiation data and atomic data. That does make sense. Thankfully, those are both pretty close by. Radiation data looks like none of those. So much space in space! Hell yeah, there is. Uh, that's atomic data, that makes sense. So we want just a bit of atomic data, not a lot. And radiation data, which probably looks like the big radiation symbol. Indeed it is. Okay, so that's going to make my RTGs. And that's going to help with operation, make a lot of power, just in case we want to do this. I'm not the best at naming operations, I'm sorry. Uh, good news, it looks like those have mostly sorted themselves out, except for the places where they haven't. There's only so much you can do about that. Uh, so let's spin that back down, spin that back around, and uh, we'll catch up on it later when everything goes to hell. That's the plan. Is it a good plan? No, not really, but it's the plan I'm going with. And if we put our portable RTG in there. Oh, in there, sorry. Because these ones produce how much more power? Like, not quite double, but, you know, more power is good. And the more of these they make, I mean, frankly, the happier I'll be. I don't think we need too many of them. Let's just take one stack. So right now we've actually produced a sh less power. If we did this, then we should glow pretty impressively. Yeah, that's probably fine for now. Okay, so while that science is still continuing, we're going to go to Calidus and we're going to see what we can do. We're going to go to the Calidus asteroid belt base that everyone, oh sorry, space solar base 
that everyone really cares about. Because honestly, the emitter at Calidus base does need to be checked. Much to my eternal shame. Uh, now we should also be making these, and why are we not? Because I don't think we thought we needed as many of these. I think Nequium cubes are a bit of a shortage, but I think we can deal with that. So, the work that I was doing looking at the Phonista base, it needed about 30 gigawatts. Now, I don't know if we're going to try and do that, but eh, it might be fun to just try and create 30 gigawatts of power. You know, it's always fun to generate way more power than you think you'll ever need. Um, and also, speaking of way more power than you'll ever need, how are we going with the Arcospheres? Are things being made? What I need is Tesseracts. And yeah, Tesseracts are being made, and if Tesseracts are being made, that means we're also making level 4 science. Hopefully, yes, there it is, it is being made. Wonderful, I love to see it. Okay, so the squid's heading towards the sun, that usually means that it gets a ton more power and it stops having any energy issues. Keep in mind that once we get to Spaceship Victory 50%, uh, we're going to start building the ship that should hopefully win us the game. Uh, the question is, how much power does that thing need and how many engines? We may actually also need to upgrade the uh, spaceship integrity that we have. Um, I'm kind of anticipating that is an issue, but if that's an issue, then that's an issue and we'll sort it out then. And we can't freak out about it now. I mean, we can freak out about it now, but I don't know what's, what that is going to achieve. And again, why does anything need to achieve anything in this world, right? First off, those guys just want to fix stuff. That's pretty normal. And let's just... And what are we doing? Creating two of these? Maybe. Two of these is probably going to be not nearly sufficient, but whatever. That's what we're doing. And in the meantime, we're just going to place down a lot of stuff and hope that it helps us in some way. The nice wide circle. Now we should be able to power this slightly better than we used to. That's the hope. Whether it's true or not, I don't actually know. But my batteries do seem to be sustaining themselves for a lot longer this time, so that's nice. Gosh, and all of a sudden I'm reminded that C Block used to have like stacks of a thousand for like placing uh, land down, and that was glorious. Because a thousand is just a much nicer number. Okay. So if we go grab some more landfill. Not landfill, sorry, space fill. Followed by its correct name, please. And I don't really want to do the corners. So make the robots do the corners. That's their job. That's not the corners, guys. We messed up. Yeah, they're always messing up. Uh, 
Okay, now they're getting the corners, like good little drones. And just the spots that I missed, of which there are a lot of them apparently. Go figure. Man, what are the chances that I would miss like these really obvious spots? I don't know, like one and one? a little bit and then we just go get the solar panels and then we just add like a whole bunch more solar energy but not really any reason but we're gonna do it anyway we missed a spot probably okay then we go grab more solar panels which the bots will probably be pretty excited about because the bots usually love doing solar panels they know what they love. They love their job. Those guys are just replacing what's already broken. Pretty normal. Things break here a lot when you've got no defenses on this platform whatsoever. Honestly though, I'm surprised they don't hit the sun more, but whatever. Uh, okay, and actually we do not have enough power like I thought we wouldn't. Would? I thought we'd have enough power. We clearly don't. That's what I'm trying to say here. I do like that you can see on the mini-map just like the pink space filling in. Now I don't even know how much power this could actually generate if it was really trying. Probably not enough. Like it was really super duper trying, I'm saying. Uh, and my batteries have worn out. Like, they did really well, all things considered. Um, but we're still just not generating quite enough power to keep up with that demand. But if we check here, like... Yeah, how much power are we generating? Uh... 900 plus 500, that's 1.4 gigawatts. No. 1.4 megawatts of power. Oh, that's not much at all, is it? And these things take 1.5 megajoules. Yeah, okay. So I see why we have power problems. I mean, these things hold 100 megajoules, but it's still not enough. Uh, so they'll power up for a bit and then they'll launch again. That's traditionally what happens in these situations. Each one of these produces like 12 megawatts, but I think when I get the power to Fenista, it does really give you as much. Oh, there they go again. Oh, they'll just decide one day they really launch. And then they'll all be like, but we have no power. And I was like, well, maybe you shouldn't have launched just yet. Do their best. They're not very smart. Okay, so while they try and get themselves fixed up, let's turn on this uh, emitter at Calidus. Everyone's favorite meme. Doesn't even connect to anything. understand how this works correctly. It doesn't matter if I do or not because yeah, it doesn't matter. Uh, power is up by the way to 20, oh sorry not power, the oh, yeah, sorry, I'm sorry I'm moving your name. I'm gonna keep it by the ca uh, by it though. Um yeah, spaceship victory being at 24% is pretty exciting. And as those charge up, take 
too long, I'd hope. That, they'll probably just put it down to zero. Yeah, I thought so. I don't know why I thought that was going to be helpful. Ah, and you connect it that way. I see. Okay, so that's generating quite a lot of power now, I'd imagine. But if we target it for Nestro. I just type F and it's done. The transmission efficiency is 0.34%. So we'd be generating 0.34% of 80 gigawatts, which would be... 1% would be 800 megawatts. Oh yeah, no, that's not near enough power. We'd need to be using antimatter fuel for it, I think. And we are actually still having shortages of power, so let's sort that out right now. Be a quick fix, though. I think that'll be enough. Hopefully. Uh, no, it's not. Okay. Maybe we'll ditch a couple of them. Uh, yeah. But even so, it's not generating near enough power. Um... an interesting problem but whatever it's got nothing to energize over there anyway okay well that's fine those guys want to repair make some repairs that's fine you can do that <laughs> now we're going to go in there faster than that because remember if you want to launch yourself through a door you got to go real fast okay we're through so fun. Oh yeah! Alright, we're at 25% spaceship. Uh, 25% spaceship victory. What do we need? We're probably going to need more antimatter reactors, that's for sure. Maybe that's what we've got to look at. We've got four. That's the number I wanted. That is the number I wanted, actually. Neat. Um, that's pretty neat actually uh, the next thing I wanted was the high temperature turbines and uh, heat exchanges we've got plenty of those hmm okay how are my aquaspheres looking are they looking like in a real shambles right now kind of but for a strange reason I'm always wondering whether I want to just have this as a static number. Uh, we are beginning to run out of Tesseracts and... Well, no, Tesseracts are always running out of. Aquian processes we're beginning to run out of. It's not too surprising. All those star systems is almost like I'm playing a piss poor version of Dyson Sphere Program. Yeah, except for the fact I'm not really playing Dyson Sphere Program. How you doing, Wes? I mean, honestly, if from what I've seen anyone playing Dyson Sphere Program, everyone's just like, ah, this game doesn't do this as well as uh, Factorio. So I'm not saying Dyson Sphere Program is a bad game. I have not played it. But I think a lot of the quality of life things that are in Dice Sphere Program aren't there. And just every Factorio player I've seen playing it is always a bit like, 
disappointed with that. I mean, to be fair, they're different games. Different goals, different games. I'm pretty happy being based around my local planet, or my local star. Worked well for me. Oh really? I thought it looked interesting, but then I was sort of thinking, well, how does this differ from what I've already got? And unfortunately I didn't really find an answer to that question. Uh, I'm not saying it's the same game or anything like that, I just... I don't see why I need it. Uh, maybe when it's finished, it'll be better, but it just... Doesn't look like it's going to scratch that itch that Victoria already scratches. Maybe we just need to expand this ship. How many... We need many more of these things. I mean, we got another hundred. We only need like five hundred of these packs, right? Like, we don't need infinite number of these science packs, and we've got a pretty high number, if I recall correctly. So if we go over to where the fours are made, which is those are the threes, where are the fours made, in a very strange and bizarre place, clearly. Okay, and let's just request like five hundred of these. So that'll make sure that we've got everything we need. So that's going to, of course, launch the uh, what is it called, Chippy McShipface? Face. And Shippy McShip Face thing can start being changed into being a ship of strategic importance. Of game winning importance, even. It seems like having a lower average that they work off is a better idea. It seems to make more things. Uh, Zetas are low, are they? Yeah, four, that is low. Uh, I kind of assumed that would launch this ship, I don't know why it didn't. What is it lacking to launch? Oh, it still, still has a hundred of them? Really? I thought we literally just changed that requirement or that request. Maybe I didn't set it up properly. Uh, you followed a guy. Oh, sorry. Followed a guy because he said he was staying Astronia run over two weeks ago. He has played Astronia zero times since. Well, I mean, yeah, you, you do that. If that's, what, if that's the content you thought he was going to provide and he didn't provide it, then uh, you absolutely follow, unfollow him. By the way, just so you know, I'm probably not going to play uh, Moon Base. Um... I was looking at some videos and it didn't really seem like something I would enjoy that much. So I'm expecting an unfollow very soon as well. Uh, I'll miss you dearly, but I understand. You know, my heart will weep, but I will go on. Like that song. Uh, I don't know which one though.
Hey, I'm just being honest with you, man. Do you not appreciate honesty? It just doesn't seem like a game that I would enjoy playing. I mean, I appreciate the cat theming, but... <laughs> uh, indeed, indeed. That's what honesty gets you around here. That's alright. I knew I was in for when I told the truth. Just Wisp being very sad. He may never stop crying. I hope one day he forgives me, but I know he never will in his heart. I mean, it kind of looks like the same sort of game as Forager, honestly, and that was kind of the reason I've never played Forager. Like, I like games where it's autom like you automate things, but you don't. It doesn't really look like you automate stuff. It just looks like you walk around and collect stuff for ages. If I want to do that, I'd hit stuff in Minecraft. Um, and watching a couple of reviews, someone's just like, "Yeah, that's pretty much what you do." And I'm like, "Well, okay." You're playing Forager? Awesome. The game I really liked was uh, Autonauts. That's a fun game. Very tedious mid-game, and I assume it's tedious late game as well, but I was enjoying it until I got very, very bored of it. Which is not exactly a ringing uh, endorsement, I know. I was enjoying it until I got bored, uh, but, you know, it was true. I was enjoying it until I was bored. Uh, numbers get weird when I start doing building stuff. They get very strange. It does look like with a low A though, they do sort themselves out. Um, also, where is... I've got the... Grasshopper, where the hell is that? Oh, we're supposed to be collecting more Arcospheres. Okay, well, we can get onto that, buddy. An ephemeral expanse. Wow, it's quite a distance away. Uh, okay, the next thing I want to do is put my rocket silo down, which I'll put it down right here. Why is that not connecting? Oh, because it doesn't connect that way. Nothing connects that way. Not how things connect. Auto launch with cargo, there we go, they can sort the, their selves out after that. I don't really want to spend my Nequium processes on doing something I don't know if I care about, but maybe sometimes you got to do that. Sometimes in life you got to do things like that. Uh, should we make ship face? Should be generating a bunch of data cards, and it does appear to be. Good. I like how the energy use is proportional to how fast it goes. Like right now it's generating... Don't crash game. It, yeah, it needs 1.6. And that's a speed 160-ish. <sighs> there is no way in hell I'm going to be generating enough power for this. I think the problem with this is no water. Interesting. Got no water, really? 
or rather these. These are consuming the water they need, right? No, not even close. Hmm, maybe that's a problem we need to sort out. Because these should be generally creating way more water. And these should be having way more steam, but they don't because they don't have enough water. Oof. And what is the plan? Hit the perfect one and then go from there? Maybe. As I said, they were probably going to need to upgrade my spaceship technology one more time to actually get anything done. Ah, that's fine. One thing is, some things are sometimes being made with the alarming regularity. Go Jaeger, stop streaming. Who's Go Jaeger? I don't know that name. Uh, my theaters are quite high right now, but that, they'll do that. Thetas are going to do what Thetas do. I also got like the Nequium Cube situation doing well. Yeah, okay. Um thirty one percent for the space victory, that's just not really going that fast anymore, is it? Wonder if it's worth trying to speed up these uh things even faster. Maybe. In fact, I should probably even, here's the thought, here's the play, actually upgrade these like I said they was going to. Um, where is the scrappy? Scrappy the scrap ship. Scrappy's here, scrapping away. Doing what he does best. Are we having problems with too much heavy oil or something silly like that? No. It's just taking his time. If it continues taking its time, we might actually run into other issues. Okay, let's see if we can grab some speed up modules. And let's also speed up the belts around here. Hope that helps as well. Yeah, let's just... Oh, those are already speed module sixes. Okay, then. They're not really going to get much faster then, are they? No, they will not. Oh, wait, we've got problems with uh, cryonite rods? Hang on, I thought we had cryonite all sorted. No, we don't. We just sort of threw them in there and called it a day. Uh, yeah, it looks like a bunch of stuff comes in through that one line and then 
nothing happens with my poor little cryonite rods. Okay, now they get to go in. They're very much the last of the supper table though, aren't they? Okay. Don't know who that is, but... Okay. I'm sorry that that uh, did not go well for you. Or at least did not go meet your specifications. Wes, we clearly run in different circles. I don't know why you're always surprised when I say I don't know what you're talking about. Did I care? I don't know. Are they one of the Cardassians? I don't give a fuck, man. Also, I refuse to say that name ever correctly. I go with a much better name. You know. I'm much li more likely to support the Cardassians in whatever the hell their actual name is. Even though I know what they did on Bajor. Ah, uh, sense of scale on that one is ridiculous. I'm not going to bring it up now because there's no way you bring up the sense of scale about uh, what the Cardassians did at Bajor without sounding like someone who endorses them. Um, all right, you know what? I'll play this game. Are they like your favorite porn star or something? Is that what we were going with this? That's usually the sort of line that someone says when they say that. Let's see. Da 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 da. E Y. Uh. Nope. Don't know who they are. But yes, apparently they are. It said specifically Wes's favourite. And I was like, that makes sense. Because one time they said they liked the almighty Stevensons. And then brackets also Wes's favourite. I always forget what that music is. <laughs> oh wait, I can find out if I go here. Uh, that was... Oh, that was the Aquan ship. That's right. Okay, so we're just still gathering more stuff here and then we can start trying to piece everything together. But honestly, I think the next run will be the last one that ship needs to do that with... Um... Uh, tried to go legit with a movie, never bothered to watch it, and no one watched it. Okay. Well, that's fine. You know, people got to make their money somehow, and however they make it, that's fine. It's up to them. I ain't judging. People got to live their lives, and sometimes people make money in ways that others would find not as great. But that's okay. None of my business. I'm not, I know you're not necessarily criticizing it, I'm just saying people do what they gotta do, man. That's all I say. Okay, so that should be more than enough power for this for the rest of the game. Um... So I need to generate a lot of power for, like, I need to generate a lot of power, probably like six to eight gigawatts for 
15 minutes. No, 10 minutes. That's a lot of power. You know what? Naps, I, I'm kind of not discussing that. As I, I've said that before, I don't really have much to discuss about that. Uh, I don't really know what to say. All I wish is that it goes better than it looks like it's going to. Um, and I don't really want to discuss it further than that. Nor do I really want that to be a thing happening in the chat because I, it's accidentally political and then there's that. <laughs> And yeah. All right. What the shirt? See, do 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 do. What the shirt? I'm actually gonna record that and have a button that plays that at some point. All right. So what the shirt? Today we are wearing the Outer Wilds Ventures. It's a nice shirt based off the Outer Wilds Venture, uh, Outer Wilds game, which is a fantastic game if you haven't played it. If you have played it, you got all your fun things. You got your little ship. You got a nice fish. You got a really cool star. You know, all the things that you love about Outer Wilds, especially the nice fish. Because the fish are very nice. And who would ever say anything bad about a nice fish in a video game? You know? Everyone loves the dope fish. That's a nice fish. I don't know why I thought about the dope fish. I never think about the dope fish, but I was like, yeah, that was a good fish. You even know what I'm talking about? Uh, Commander King, check up dope fish. Out of Wilds is the puzzle game. Yes, it is. Uh, it is not the game made by Obsidian. Uh, trying to do like the New Vegas thing. And from what I've heard, didn't do particularly great at it. But yeah, Outer Wilds is the puzzle one. The absolutely spectacular puzzle one that I absolutely adore. Yeah, it was an RPG. I, I never played Outer Worlds. I just didn't get around to it. it no, I didn't. Not that I didn't say it didn't do well. I just heard a lot of people just being this, but, but disappointed by it. That's all. A lot of people went in expecting uh, Fallout New Vegas and didn't quite get that. That's what I heard. I mean, with an infinite time, eventually you'll probably win. Infinite time, infinite money, you'll win eventually. Um, unfortunately, you don't have infinite time nor infinite money. Probably won't. But, you know, you gotta try. You gotta try, and I respect you for trying. Not really. I really like, speaking of that nap, I really like that family that there was like a really huge uh, jackpot somewhere, probably America. They have ridiculously high jackpots. And they spent all their money on buying tickets, all their life savings, everything on tickets, and then they didn't win. So obviously they didn't. And people donated money to help them, like, be able to support themselves again. You know, the absolute goodwill of humanity to be like, hey, we'll help you out, buddy. You know, your life's gone to shit, but we'll help you. And then they were like, yeah, great, now that we've got that help, uh, we'll do it right next time. And make all the money back so we're gonna like go bigger next time i spend more money on lottery tickets like oh no they learned nothing <laughs> they learned absolutely nothing um i quite enjoyed that story in a sad kind of way because it is true they learned absolutely nothing from their mistakes and uh yeah uh the big problem is they decided to go the epic store route are you talking well, well hang on are you talking about Outer Worlds or Outer Wilds? Because Outer Wilds did that, and it sounds like communism with more steps. It does a little bit. Uh, except communism relies on the the government giving you stuff, whereas American capitalism... No, we're not doing this again. No, we're not doing this again. Uh, but relies on handouts. Outer Worlds? I mean, Outer Wilds also was an epic store, and I thought it was an amazing game when it came out in Steam. Outer Worlds, I just didn't have much interest in it and I didn't really hear much great about it I mean sure some people were playing it and saying it was okay but I didn't hear like the the sources that I was cited, um, citing weren't say, speaking like incredibly oh my gosh great game anywhere 
Um, but that being said, Obsidian's a weird game. Yeah. Obsidian's a weird company. Like, they will have this amazing hit. And they'll just do amazing with it. And everyone will love it to pieces. It'll be flawed and broken. But it will be amazing. And then they'll just make something else. People just go... Eh. Eh, it's fine. Like, Obsidian's a weird company. Um, I wish them well, obviously. I never want anyone to make bad games. I want everyone to succeed, but... Hmm, interesting. Like, and some of their best games are the ones where they basically made sequels off other people's games. You know, Fallout New Vegas, for instance, or... Was Neverwinter Nights 2 any good? No, I feel like that one wasn't. There was another game they made that was a really good sequel to someone else's game. Completely skipped my mind. Hmm, maybe. Oh, my Zetas are down. My Zetas at. an interesting company from someone who doesn't really understand game industry just basing entirely off how they tend to rate their, their games seem to be rated I wish that wasn't the case but it does seem to happen every time uh, in the meantime what are we doing we're waiting for that ship to come back just going back now what I'm wondering is how much power a tank full of steam would give us so I might just google that um, although that's gonna be kind of a weird thing to google uh, Victoria space exploration steam tank I don't know if this is gonna give me anything that's useful I can store 2.4 gigajoules of nuclear steam, which is good, but we need more than that. I don't know if that's actually going to work the way I need it to. Uh, Steam. Storage? Oh, that's just bringing up steam. Maybe you should put it in the word Factoria, that might help. If that can store terawatts of fuel, then maybe. Oh, sorry, terawatts of power, then maybe. But I don't think it's going to. <laughs> no, I'm not feeling great about that. Okay, well, let's not worry about that. Let's just go and make... How much power does it need? It needs four gigawatts. So, when the shipping McShip face returns, we'll uh, see what we can do to... I think we need more steam turbines. I think we need to sort out the water issues a bit better. I think if we can sort those out, I think we'll be in a better place. I think. I really don't know. Uh, it's really a pro oh, sorry, you were just saying, uh, Obsidian. It's really a problem they can't see the engine started back in the first game. Alpha Protocol. I was thinking about Alpha Protocol. That was the name of the game that I was thinking about. Everyone was so hyped for it, and then it just came out and was just like a but I remember people being like, oh, if we patched it like a million times, and then we release, then when they did the patch, it was actually quite a good game, I heard. But if the fans have to be the ones to make the patch, then I'm just like, well, that's, that's not great, guys. Like, 
Shouldn't you guys be making the game and not your fans? I mean, I know this is someone who's currently playing a mod. You know, do I have the right to talk about such things? I don't know, but... You get my point. But then again, that's a different thing. That's like the fans fixing the game as opposed to the fans like making a mod for the game. And uh, that's never great. Bethesda is their own problem. That's all right. I oh, know I was still talking about Obsidian. Bethesda is their own issues. Bethesda has always had the situation where their games have always been interesting, but technically flawed. And I mean, when I say always, I mean from like the the first Bethesda game I recall was the Elder Scrolls Arena, you know, Elder Scrolls One, and that game was good, but it was flawed. There was a lot of problems with it, uh, and likewise, uh, Morrowind wasn't much better, and Daggerfall. Daggerfall, next one? No, nope. Daggerfall, second one. Daggerfall, not much better. Morrowind, not much better. Uh, Oblivion, not much better. Skyrim, not much better. All their games have just like these really big technical flaws with them. And I know they're not bad games in most cases. You know, but. Uh, I'm in the wrong place. The games are not bad in most cases. Yeah, of course, it had issues. I'll not deny that for a moment, but generally, they've been okay. Daggerfall was amazing for his time, do not get me wrong. However, even after three patches, you had to save whenever entering a dungeon, because sometimes the door wouldn't be there for you to leave. Right? The game was badly signposted in a lot of ways. Now, I know Daggerfall is amazing. I played a lot of Daggerfall. I'm not saying it was a shit game. I'm just saying it was a game with a lot of flaws. Um, and I know the problem. No, again, I'm not saying that. I loved Fallout New Vegas. Hell, Fallout New Vegas would crash for me every minute to 10 minutes, somewhere in there. And I still played 60 hours of it. Right? I loved uh, New Vegas, but, you know, New Vegas was a rarity for them. Okay, so we're going to cut out all of this. Uh, actually, before we do all that, we're going to copy this ship. And we're going to, just in case we need to make it again, uh, whoop ship. I mean, Bethesda's engines are always pretty bad, and that's sort of what I was saying there. The engines are not great. Uh, okay. And we're going to pull out all the insides of this ship. I'm going to see what we can do. Maybe not the, the components that keep it safe. Maybe not those. Everything else, though, can totally go. I mean, Bethesda's engines have always been broken. They always have been. That's, that's what I was saying. Like, Bethesda, as much as they make really good games sometimes, their engines are always a hodgepodge bunch of shit. <laughs> um, and it is the case. While they do make the good games, and I will not doubt that, uh, we probably need to not put that much fuel in here. Okay. your heart you know it to be true I mean no one's actually doubting it I don't think okay, 
So we need a lot more power than we were having before, which is fine. We can generate power. Drop a bunch of stuff we clearly don't need. <laughs> I mean, Fallout 76 was honestly just the culmination of what we, all, we should have all seen coming. Like, Fallout 76 should not have been a surprise. It would have been like, yep, saw that one coming. Oh my god, have you heard, like, the the song for that? Someone made, like, a fan song. It just works. And it's good. It's it's very bitter about the whole situation, obviously. Um, but it's very funny. Uh, okay, so that should generate 4 gigawatts. And honestly, these should be doing 1.2 each, which would be about 4 gigawatts as well. Okay. Or that we need heat exchangers. Yeah, it was it was an interesting brag. these are we okay I don't know if we've actually got those available okay and after that I don't know if we're actually really improving this taking out the extra fuel I don't think that's fuels needed it's only going to need to fly once if it only needs to fly once it's probably fine Good logic, good logic. We're going to need to find a place for... We're going to need more engines as well, we know that. That's alright. Let me just shift those out a little bit. Just to be able to connect those there. Means that's too close now. That's probably too close as well, actually. We will, of course, need to do some things with that, but that's all right. We will get that sorted. I have one. Why don't we just. Okay. Okay, now water. Water is an interesting beast. Water go in there. Water. Go in there. Finally, water go in there. Everything should be connected to... And then we need condensers. Now, they output 214 per second. This consumes 80. So if it outputs 214 per second, that's like 4 at maximum? Okay. That's not great. Uh, okay. And then every one of these needs four. We shift that a little bit. I don't know quite where we're going to put the uh a thing 
You know the thing. I don't know where we're putting that yet. We're going to put some tanks in here as well at some point. Should be fine. It's going to generate about 4 gigawatts of power, which seems like a, a decent amount. But I don't actually know if it is... I don't know how much it actually needs to generate. I guess we'll figure that out when we get there, won't we? Ah, that enthusiasm. We'll figure it out when we get there. Yep, great. That's not concerning at all. Okay. That's looking good, and then we have like this one's steam, which escapes in a very similar manner, and yet differently in its own way. <laughs> Every time, I love it. Okay, so. In theory, this is better. However, where are we going to put this? <laughs> so I believe that should generate more th power. I don't know where we're putting the disco ball yet. The disco ball's got to go somewhere. Uh, and we also do need to generate more power. I'm not too worried about... Not too worried about it. We can always just shift these down by one. I can feed these by hand. And I expand that out, maybe. Uh, not really, no, actually. Not at all. <laughs> it's perfect the way that it was. <laughs> And I went and broke it. But aside from tanks that are missing, uh, maybe this will generate enough power. Maybe. Who really knows? What is power anyway? No one knows what power is. There's no there's no meaning in the dictionary for what power is. Let's not even contemplate it. Power has no meaning, that's what I'm trying to say. Uh, I don't really care about steam storage, just that I need it to go away. So, can we get some antimatter tanks, please? Yeah, sure, just bring me 50, it's fine. I want to heat this up and see what it all looks like when it's going, which is not going to be very clear because it's got no water in it. Um, and it will not get any water in it until I do something like this. Now we've got some extra space for tanks down here, which could be good. The only thing we need to worry about now is just to find a place for the disco ball. We're just going to pop it outside for now. Gosh, that's a big disco ball. I 
And then we need to find more room for engines as well, which we could probably put back here. They never tell you that disco balls are bigger than you think, do they? Perhaps they should. Perhaps they should. Yep, perfect space for a disco ball. Ah, oh, it's not perfect space for a disco ball at all. No, disco is not back. I was always afraid this would happen. I thought I would start the revolution of disco and the disco would be back. But disco, disco will never be back, guys. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. I wanted disco to be back just as much as you. But it's not happening. Disco is dead. I'm sorry. <laughs> Just kidding. Disco's back. There's Disco. Oh. You know what? That would have been a good thing to read ahead of time. Uses 6 gigawatts when at critical speed. Uh, we're only going to be generating 4 gigawatts. Well, shit. We're going to be lacking two gigawatts. Two gigajoules per s plus whatever the heck else is being made in the system. Although then again, this... These are probably generating enough power for these. They're requiring one megawatt. Yeah, these will generate enough power on their own. Um, crap. That's already most of the ship's space. I mean, okay. So I need two more of these. Probably another two more of these, too. Well, okay, that part's easy. That part's just... A chunk. Uh... Chunk. And then, um... Then, uh, these aren't gonna fit at all, unless we sort of shift them across one. Because that'll generate, these two will be doing three times 400, no, four times 400, which is 1.6, 3.2, and these will be doing 1.2 each. So yeah, that's, that's fine. What if we do that? There we go. Okay, so that sorts the heat problem out. I think. Hang on, let me let me math that. So we're gonna have 1.6 plus uh, these are each kind of well these three are gonna be doing 1.2 each. So 1.2 plus 1.2 plus 1.2, and then this one's gonna be doing 800.8. Well, that didn't work right. 1.6 plus 1.2 plus 1.2 plus 1.2 plus 0.8. Seriously, what do I keep... <sighs> okay, I'm having problems that the second that I'm ready, I fat finger something. Six. That generates six power. Okay. Which... That needs six. So that means all the heat for these will be enough to power the disco ball 
which means these what same temperature steam do these output they output 500 degrees steam okay so these will be generating about 20 gigawatts as well sorry megawatts as well and the shields take something the shields take one megawatt seems low so these we need six of these running at full capacity and we need another There's no way in hell this does not end up needing like more space. Although maybe. Because we know we need another four of these. Uh, and unless we have four more heat exchanges. So four more heat exchanges, two more of these things and maybe another six more I think we're going over with condenser tur turbines six more condensed turbines that's the easy part um <sighs> move the console out of the way please don't forget its name okay well now you've forgotten its name Chippy McShipface, that's its name. We must not forget its name. Okay, so get rid of those. Can we slot one into here? Not really. We're going to have to shift everything just one across, which is actually kind of doable. Get rid of a laser. Okay, and then we can slot another one in there. That's good. Uh, with the basis that we do not have enough heat exchangers. <sighs> Frankly, I'm not even sure we're gonna have enough water flow either, but that's okay. Is going to be a bit of an issue down that side. How many more of these do we need? We need four more of these. Oh gosh. That's not even possible. Why did we dream of plausibility? Dreams too big as always, friends. And as such, we have doomed us all. Why not add more ship? Uh, I could do. I, I'm trying to do that as minimum right now. I will have to do that anyway. There's not enough engines. Um, but it's just because I'm kind of running out of space. Like, because I can add 200 more tiles and then I need to just research new tech. So really I'm fighting everything Naps to not do that. Uh, this is called a losing battle. Uh, it's kind of my favorite type of battle, honestly. So that's why we're doing it this way. In fact, that's not going to work. The water's not going to go anywhere. So no, that's a terrible plan. Don't know what we were thinking. But it does give us so yeah okay. I have to I have to give into my urges and actually do better. No, go against my urges rather. My urges are never to do better.
Yeah, well, let's see if I can condense these things a little bit then, which is the complete opposite of what I was trying to do a second ago. Because... Ah, we do need that to be out one. Otherwise, ain't nothing gonna connect properly. probably push those back in a little bit as well which gives us a little bit more room on the side okay well whatever happens we're gonna need two more high pressure turbines makes me wonder whether I could have just done this very differently Because if I had them set up in a up and down sort of motion, then we probably could have done this better. And then we could have just tiled them three. Uh, maybe that's the correct answer. Maybe we do just abandon everything. Yep, let's try again. Okay, no. I don't like that. Uh, do we're gonna put that on there just in case we need to go back to it? Okay, let's try this again. You know, let's take out the defenses as well. We don't need defenses, not right now. We'll get them later. And you know what? Let's let's make the front a little bit more flat. And the disco ball. That can go as well, I suppose. So the one thing we do know for certain that we need is the antimatter reactors. They're good. I like them. They're the only thing that makes me happy in life. Okay, so we need 12 of these. That is a known fact. Twelve? Yes, because we need six. Okay. Twelve is correct. So three on that side, three on that side. There is no way in hell that's going to be enough room. But maybe it will be. No, it won't be. I don't know what we were thinking. Okay, and then the water comes out and it comes back into the system that way. And we will do it this way on both sides. Okay, then we got to get the steam turbines, which is why, when we're going to expand the ship. Oh, check again actually it will output at max 214 per second okay the condenser turbines which look a lot like uh we don't have any condenser turbines available <sighs> seriously game really hurting me here game and it was my fault but you hurt me game We just want one of those. So this will generate at max 80. So we 
We don't really need four for everyone. Three and the four between them would probably suffice. So three, 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 four. So that means on each side we'd want three plus three is six, so ten on each side. Okay, we can do that. Don't worry about this design, we will uh, correct this later. We will make this pointier and more defensive later, don't worry. So then we go three of these condenser turbines. actually not bad. That actually kind of works. Right, that's, that's looking good. We will put some pumps in there as well, of course. And now... That should generate. Point the wrong way. That should generate our steam. Put pump. Put a pump in there as well. Don't worry. But then, if we do. three more of these and they can share specific parts it's okay okay and we're gonna need some more flooring that's okay we need flooring we know that if you didn't you'd be absolutely flawed it's not even funny i don't know what i'm laughing about going to generate a lot more power but that's okay that's what the back of the ship's for <laughs> and one thing is, is confirming we're going to need to do the ship research because there's no way in hell this is going to fit in that space that we had it's all right he says knowing that his eyes are full of tears Shift this over right to the edge. And then we can do one more of them. Yeah. That's good. Potentially. Probably not great, but it's what we've got. That'll suffice. I don't know quite how I'm going to deal with tanks and any of that stuff, but we'll figure that out later. We're just building a big box ship for now. Does the ship just get called the biggest mistake I've ever made? Probably. How close can we put that to... That there, yeah. And this will also need to be pushed out, because of course it will. There is no way in hell it's going to end with a, you know...
design that's not absolutely over what it should be. But we knew that going into it. And I mean, hell, this is just the power. This isn't even including the disco ball or the defenses. Or the water, or just anything that we need in life. Oof. That's all right. Sometimes you gotta build these things. Then once we're done with this, then we will run the put the console put the walls up, put the console up and see how badly it's looking. Hopefully it's not too bad, because if it is then I might cry. But spaceship victory, 47%. I know I, I'm glad that I started this before 50% because that may have been distressing. Thinking of starting things. Oh gosh. Why do you do this? Why do you do this to yourself? Every time you do this to yourself. Why? You've really got to watch it. Is the same place as well? Yeah, it's Fies. It's always Fies. Well, let's empty thing everything out that isn't a Fi. And uh, let it try and rebuild. Oh, Fies, you know what you did. So we're going to need to let it rebuild for a while. So wait, Wes, what are you making? I'm curious, what is it that you're actually making that Steely Gold doesn't like? Yeah, no, I saw you said you're making Hamburger Helper Cheeseburger Deluxe. But I'm still not entirely sure what that is. It is, is it all Arcospheres? It is, unfortunately there. <laughs> Always has been. Gosh darn it. I see the meme now. I saw it too late. I started responding as it was a legitimate question. What is he, how, Hamburger Helper? Because I don't understand what that is. I know people, I've heard of it before, but I don't know what it is. Betty Crocker Products Helper. Hamburger Helper Cheeseburger Macaroni. What is it cheese? It's pasta. That is the complete opposite of what I thought Hamburger Helper would be. What is a sloppy joe? Is this pasta? You need hot dogs? But I thought you were making... So, Hamburger Helper is pasta. My goodness. Hey, Soulburn, how you doing? Choo-choo, indeed. Uh, okay, so that should be enough power. Hopefully. But, I mean, sure, enough power is one thing, but... 
You don't feel like going to work today? Well, that sounds like a good day to have off. Floppy Joe is a spice mix. It's this bad news. Okay. Okay, so how are we doing? Uh, yeah, we're about 300 over. Uh, that's fine. I kind of suspect that, that might be the case. So now we just got to put more engines on. Um... We also need to put the I mean that might be the best way to describe it is what I'm getting. Yeah, well let's put this uh here for now. This is a for now thing because we've gotta make sure the streamline is better than 0.7%. Streamline 7% might be a little bit not streamline enough. The thought. And then if we flip that. And do that there. I don't think it's going to be much better than 7%, but... Sorry, 0.7%. Ah. Okay. I, I, I vaguely get it. But why do you... Why do you put a hot dog in there? What's the hot dog there for? Sorry, I'm not much of a culinary expert, so that might be why I'm confused. <laughs> why do you put the hot dog in there? Ah, uh, yes, I've been there. I've been there. Uh, I don't know, man. I'm very confused about anything that I read on that web page. Uh... Oh, we got a bit of a problem, do we? 33%, that's getting better. Although hull stress just added a huge amount more hull stress. Urgh. How much does Streamline actually add? Make the front of the ship a little less boxy to increase the streamline. That is a lot of hull stress. It is... It is vaguely plausible. Have I considered not stressing out the hull? Ah, uh, you know what? I hadn't considered that. Thank you very much. Thank you for your wise words. Okay, we put that in the front. That works. As a structural integrity of a cracker. Hey, no, we need to bring race into this. Um, <laughs> okay, so what we might need to do... I think the front's good. Uh, also, how are my arcospheres going? If there's one other thing that's stressed right now, it's my arcospheres. Oh, they're absolutely stuffed, mate. Uh, Okay. Well, look, we've got to put more engines in, but we've also got to reduce the stress. Also got to make the ship spikier. And I think in true Seafcat style, the ship is going to be a little bit skew with. But uh, I think everyone will appreciate that. <laughs> Tell us <to> read self. <laughs> My ship's so stressed, guys. It doesn't want to read self help books. Uh, 
The worst part is I also need to make add like a lot more engines onto it. Which would also result in... There's a lot of problems going on here. First one might be that I'm involved. Let's just try and get the uh, streamline better. Really help it much. Oh, because those aren't those walls aren't actually built. Watch this. <laughs> you yeah, look one step at a time. We don't look. It's like my boss said. If you want to have a good day, I'm going to have to hit you with a stick repeatedly. My boss never said that. Um, but you know. If she did, I'd understand. Sometimes I do need to be hit with a stick repeatedly. Okay. So I just want to get the uh, streamlineness better. 41%. Also, ship more stressed. Where is it not happy? Down there. Oh, look at that. Look at that. We can, we can reduce some stress right there. Look at that, we've reduced stress. Slightly. Okay, I know the structural limit is above what you can handle. That's okay. That's that's a problem for another day. But before that I'm gonna do it again. <laughs> Man, isn't it great that I managed to reduce the stress just the tiniest bit? Just to add more stress. Like, that's good work. Stress reduction... <laughs> I'll fucking do it again, mate. Yeah, I will. I will do it again. Um, but if we can get that number down, then... Oh, sorry, up. Then we can start worrying about the hull stress. As long as we can get it below 3,000... I'm sort of happy. We're getting streamlined to 50%. That's what I want first. 54 54%. Hull stress is still below 3000, which is good, but not particularly great when you consider we still need to put in some uh more engines. So, maybe the best way to make this ship more streamlined is to make an absolute mess. Now, I know what you're thinking. I don't know if Siva can, can make a bad ship. <laughs> if you're thinking that, you were just talking shit and you know it. Um, okay. Yeah, this, this is a big ship. Give the ship some stress balls, that'll help it. Uh, I don't know, man. Then I might kick it in the stress balls. That won't de-stress it. Okay, let's try that. Add some more engines, always good. Everyone always complains saying I don't have enough engines in my ship, and I agree with them. That's the number one complaint I get while playing Factorio. Am I trying to break the speed of light in uh, space exploration? Kinda, yeah, actually. Kinda. That is the final goal, more or less. Also, don't destroy your Arcosphere situation. Oh, gosh. Guys. That's, that, you went the wrong way. Now I've got too many exo... Bloody hell. Now we've got all these... Epsilons. You know what? What's the worst that could happen? Turn the system on! Hundreds of lambdas. 
Uh, I was ending up with hundreds of Fies. You know. Eyes and Fies. Never any Zetas. Interesting. What'd you do with them? Alright, that might be it. I don't know if that's enough engines. I know we've got enough power. The engines <laughs> will not reduce stress. No, that is true. The next step is cutting corners, which, by the way, I'd like to point out, I'd love the symmetrical nature of the ship. Notice here, like you got four tiles over here. Uh, different tiles in different places. Just so want to point that out. It's very good. That's a good C for cat design right there. Okay. How are we looking at stress? Below 3000? Ooh, 3050. We love symmetry. Well, I hate symmetry, so... <laughs> the next step is cutting corners. Look, shut off. We're going to increase, decrease stress. Uh, why three condensers per one gigawatt thing? Oh no, I mean, that's great. Uh, because they output at max 214 per second, and these at most take 80. 80 times 3 is 240, and so that should be enough. We could probably actually cut down the condensers a little bit. Uh, I think that's good. Let's, let's actually... Oh no, no, you do not need to be sorry. Like, we're all having... We're all having fun at my poor design decisions here. Okay, okay, look. Stress went down, streamline went up. This uh, just goes to show that if you're in better shape, your stress goes down. Uh, I'm a little concerned about what I just said there. You think the condensers lie? How many do you think they should be? Do I have too many or too few? Please say too many. Too many is what I want to hear. Okay, streamline's gone up. Stress, gone down. Why not make the front end like a... Never seems a problem. My last one, it was being a problem. Why not make the front end like a triangle or a semicircle? Uh, because I can't make circles. Yeah, because streamline doesn't mean like have a, you know, triangle design. It just means less boxy. You know what's less boxy? A jagged edge. Like, if I do this, for instance, this, we're going to do some ex uh, an experiment here. If we just make a hole right in the middle, that should, should in theory, decrease streamline, right? Because that's how wind resistance works. But this isn't wind. It's space. There is no air in space. They just, space hates a jagged edge. And I can prove that for you if this number works. Otherwise, I'm just going to abandon this plant, this conversation piece. Okay, so we did that. 76.56. Stayed the same. Okay, well, look, give me a second. Give me a second. We're going to take this to a natural conclusion. Okay. Now it's got a butt. Ship's got a butt. It's a butt ship. <laughs> Check out those buns. <laughs> mm -mm, just, just... Right, yeah, anyway, butt ship. Okay. Trust me, when, when this works, you'll be like, oh damn, Sifa Cat's a genius. Is this safe for Twitch? Uh, I mean, as long as you don't call it a butt ship, it's fine. <laughs> okay, we ready? We ready to see this work? If it doesn't work, then I banned everything. 76.56? It changes nothing. Okay, never mind. So the ship doesn't need a butt. Doesn't help it. But, 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 hang on, hang on, hang on. If we do this, here's the new plan. Yeah, exactly. I've made a lot of penis stations by mistake. If we do that, and just have a little bit of the hole in the middle, that's it. 
we put holes where we don't have ship. It's genius. You see, right now, here's the thing. If we went to integrity check, the stress is... Okay, it's auto-saving right now. <laughs> okay, the stress is 313. Uh, something's, something's not happy. What's not happy? The entire ship's not happy. Never mind. Maybe, maybe I was wrong. Okay, never mind. Put that back. Oh, wait. No, never mind. It's just because it wasn't finished. Okay. You do that. Okay, it's happy. 315, right? But if we put this in here... Okay, so we've actually done nothing to the ship. If this is still 315... It's 319. 3019. So what you do is you leave little holes in the ship like that, and it doesn't count. Okay? <laughs> so we could put a little hole in here where we're not using anything, as long as we put a wall around it. <laughs> Speed holes! Okay, I, I ate too much of that. So, what I'm finding out is if you make holes in the ship, it decreases stress. Aerodynamics, exactly! Well, no, that, because that would increase streamline. It goes fast without life support. I don't have life support. I haven't had life support for ages. <laughs> Okay, so we're going to let those walls connect. Speed holes. They never thought about that. Aerodynamics in space. Hell yeah, guys. This is what we, this is it. We're genius. We're we're geniuses, or I'm a genius. I don't know. Either way, hell yeah. So then, stress three o nineteen. Two nine nine nine. Ah, brilliant. Okay, <laughs> it's the dumbest idea. It's raining. Well, at least there's no speed holes in the house. Don't worry about it. There's no speed holes in the house, so the rain won't get inside. The house is not stressed. It's a little stressed, actually. <laughs> Okay, I've just been told I'm not allowed to put speed holes in the house. Uh, I think I'm going to have to listen to my wife on that one. My house would go way faster. No, it would be less stressed without speed holes. It doesn't increase streamline. <laughs> oh, this is a good ship. Think of how many more engines we could put in if we put more speed holes in. Uh, we do need to put power into the ship at some point. Because we do need to make sure that there is actually uh, a decent enough coverage with shields. Um, uh, not bad, actually. Not bad. The last thing you want is a stressed house. That is true. That is very, very true. My house has enough stress being dealing, having to deal with me. Much like my wife, honestly. Oh damn, it is coming down. I can hear it now. Uh, probably do need to make speed holes in the front. That's true. Let's think about it. Just doing this is giving me six more uh, stress. Brilliant. <laughs> Where am I going to put the water? I hadn't quite figured that part out yet. I probably should figure that out very soon. Um, you know what? Actually, I see a place where we can make a little bit more space. We can do that. And then look at that. It gives us way more space. Look at that! Like a true engineer, I'm cutting corners. Uh, 
Uh, we is the ship happy? <laughs> Probably not. Uh, how are we doing? No, something's disconnected. Probably that. Probably needs to go. Okay. But we do need a little bit less speed hole there. I think I'll make it a bit nicer. Uh, okay. Yeah, we're below 299. No, we're still not happy somewhere. Are all my speed holes correctly connected? Yeah? Is it not happy? I mean, when you do this sort of thing, it should be gosh down everywhere, right? Uh, it's not happy anywhere. Well, maybe the ship should just stop being a little baby. this i think that was fine before but let's just put a bit more space in there i don't understand what it's not happy with right now i mean it's saying everything but i don't think that's fair oh wait i know what the problem is uh sure okay gotta do this then I think it's fine yeah uh, okay we're down to 2942 we got shields we got oh man guys we, we're gonna have just we are the terror of the skies for multiple reasons Yeah, the terror mostly comes from the people who are in this ship. Uh, this is a good ship. We can't fly it yet. We're at 50%. We need to... Oh, the numbers are kind of... Oh, gosh. Calm those numbers down, please. Terror of the sky. Yeah, maybe. Uh, plan nine from outer space. I mean, let's be honest, it's probably about plan nine that we've gone up to. Yeah, we're gonna put a couple of lasers in here. Terror of the sky. That's a good name, actually. I like that. Okay, so that should defend it from any asteroids when we're traveling at 250, because this ship's easily going to reach 250. Um, while the energy requirements aren't there yet, what we do need to do is probably test this ship. Give it a, give it a test drive. Because otherwise, what if it doesn't even go 250? Then we know we've got to do some more work on it. Power is, of course, going to be a problem in its own issue. Um... And we will deal with that soon. Let's just put some fuel in it. We already had some fuel, but put some more fuel in it. Uh, we probably need to chuck, like... We need to heat up these turbines just a bit. Hull Integrity is struggling like a rejected art school student. Ooh. That never reminds me of anyone good. <laughs> now we do need water in here to run the turbines. Now we could put the water in here. That's probably the best place for it, honestly. Okay. I 
think everyone's very excited. I think everyone knows it's going to be the best ship they've ever seen. And, uh, I don't know how to tell you this without hurting anyone's feelings, but you're right. It is going to be the best ship you've ever seen. The ship's going to have no problems, and you are just going to be astounded. How amazing the ship is. I just want to put that out there before someone says, astounded how bad the ship is. No, it's a good ship. We do need to put a couple more. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Not all of them. Gosh, don't be greedy. Okay, fine. Everyone gets two. And the autosave wants to come in right now, of course. But that's okay. It gets two. It's allowed to. Everyone's welcome. I think you just took three. Ooh, spicy. The hot take right there. Yeah. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you. I've been given some shapes. They are chicken crimpy. Chicken crimpy. Good flavor. You gotta be careful with shapes. Like the cheese and bacon ones taste really good and then the flavors left in your fingers and then you end up biting your fingers because they're too tasty. It's a legitimate problem. Happens to me all the time. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. are we having problems with Naquium? We shouldn't be. Oh, you're just requesting 60 of it. Okay. How about 160? How about 800? How about 320? How about 20? Just number all those things up. I don't even care. Okay, so we've got water. Will this reach the vaulted speed of 150? I was beginning to generate power now, so that's good. I don't think it's going to reach 250 though. I think this is foolish. I think we're going to need to make more integrity holes. Undertaker is a very true name, but no. We're going to put an E in there because it's classier. Okay. Uh, we're going to fly this to the moon? No. Let's fly it to Sky Fragments. We're not going to take it all the way, obviously. Let's save it again because we have since named the ship. Oh wait, we can't fly the ship. I forgot. We don't have the integrity. Well, that's a shame. I was all pumped. We'll get the integrity sorted out first. And while we're thinking about it, let's... Make sure the water can leave. Oh, actually, no. No. Because then what will happen is these tanks will become so full of water they can't actually make the water come out. But we, need, we do want to have some water that's not full. However, these... We absolutely want these to have pumps. Oh, 
Uh, and I can't help but notice Integrity is not going anywhere, probably because we... Hey Valdek, how you doing? We have made a mistake, um, but it's okay. That factory tech doubles in cost each time, it's why we're not going above 3,000. Uh, however, we are going to have a problem with even getting this next one done. I don't think we can make 500 points worth of integrity holes. I just don't think, see that happening. Oh, we can get up to 3,000. 3,000 is not a problem. I just don't want to get to like, try to do higher than that. <laughs> ah yes, those meetings are always interesting. The no time to explain meetings. Uh, ephemeral expanse, we can probably come back now. It does indeed. It also needs 6,000 gigajoules of power when running to try and finish the game. But not that it really matters. I mean, I don't really need that much. Uh, like, container stress is not the problem on this ship. I'm looking at the wrong ship. But... Container stress. Okay, never mind. It's pretty bad. But it's hull stress that's the problem. Um, we could make some more integrity holds, but I don't know if they're really going to help much. Like 20 here. Oh, that would be not like tw by 20. Yeah. I mean, just if I got honestly not enough. Don't worry, the engine's the only thing that's symmetrical in this ship. Um, four, eight, sixteen, twenty-one engines. I don't know if you're being sarcastic, my holic. Please confirm if you're being sarcastic. If you're being sarcastic. That's fine. If you're saying I don't have enough engines, I need to know this. Mm, that's what I was worried about. I assume you finished the game, Maholic? Like the expansion? Expansion? Mod. It's a mod. You over 30. Your ship was heavier. Hmm. I need to get to 250 and sustain it for 10 minutes while generating over 6 gigajoules of, fuel, uh, of power. Uh, and what we're going to do as well is we're going to get 500 antimatter tanks. They didn't have speed holes though. Finished all the endings, damn. Look at you go. Okay, 500 may be too many. Uh, 250 will be fine. Uh, Naps, I don't think many people have speed holes. <laughs> I think speed holes is one of those uniquely see for, oh no, what did you do moments. Um, if we really need, we could, no, we couldn't. I was going to say we could put another turb, uh, reactor in here, and I just realized that reactor's not going to be any good there, because these two aren't actually powering anything. Shoot. 
Ah, you did have speed holes. So that's good to hear. Um, that's problematic. Or is it? Do they need to all be connected to the heat pipe, or will the heat like travel between the reactors? Travels between them? Okay, so that might be alright then. Uh, we have a problem. Where? Oh no! It's related to Arcospheres as well. The reactors are basically heat pipes. Okay, that's cool. Um, me space folding data. <laughs> they have a very different graphic. Uh, shoot. Yeah, you have been saying that, I know. Um, b -b 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 We need lambdas. No, we don't. We need Z's. Which have gone from one to seven very quickly. What do you output out of curiosity? Bunch of stuff that's going to ruin me. You know what? Just make him. I don't care anymore. Just make him. You see something you want, you just take it. Very good question, uh, Veldak. Did you not hear the uh, frustration in my voice just then? The resignation that I just don't care anymore. Because that's that's how Arcos feels are going right now. I've just bloody given up. I just want it to happen. The Arcospheres are constantly in a state of stress, and I'm just going to let it happen. What I need is to de-stress my Arcospheres. That's the real problem. My Arcos seem good enough. I, <laughs> I'm glad you think so. I do not. Anyway, that's six. Speed all the <laughs> Yes! There's the answer. I'm trying to balance to two right now, which is not going particularly great. My number is very arbitrary right now, and unfortunately it has not particularly worked. Um, I just fiddle with this number, and sometimes it, it makes good things happen. I think uh, doing that did not help. 
At least not as a long run thing. Alright, as long as things are moving around, I think we're okay. There was a time where I actually had it working. I was very excited. Now it's just a pain. Oh, look. I, I think it doesn't matter, to be honest, Solburn. Just know that it is nothing but pain and misery. That's all you need to know. Veldak reckons he's got a plan, but every time he tells me he's got a plan, I think it fails on him. Which I just want to be clear, that is I don't think a failure on Veldak's part. Ooh, Elden Ring. Mm. So you say, I look forward to the message at 2 in the morning where you tell me it doesn't. Nah, not today, but thank you for the offer. How many megabytes per second is good? Now, somewhere around here, I have a thing that was making fusion reactors for me. The fact that they're still making them is a bit of a concern. Oh, goodness, no, stop, please. We did not need 18 of them. Oh, we've got 18 of them. I mean, there's like a better fusion pack, but I don't know if I really care. Uh... Oh, there was a better one other than that. There is. Portable fusion reactor. Okay. Uh, I mean, I could build them if I cared. A lot of sadness there. I don't know what to do with that. Um, honestly, the main slowdown in getting this mod finished now is just getting these Arcospheres where we want them. Um, There's no balancing this madness. Goodness no. I refuse to imagine such madness.
numbers sort of come right eventually and then they sort of break apart for a different reason. Maybe try to secure that no sphere reaches zero. Um, hmm. Maybe. Maybe that would be a good idea. But I mean, things are coming in, so. Not too worried. I just really want the science made beyond all else, and if I have to doom myself to make it happen, that doom myself I shall. balances it's just not quick and it'll balance it'll stabilize in a weird place need for speed i have six speed though maybe need for seven speed Well, we've got some Deep Space Science Pack 4s ready to go, so that's nice. Yeah, the spheres do balance to some amount of in after some time. Um... I think actually, I've been watching this for a while, I, what I want to change is this system. I don't like that it's trying to calculate it manually, not manually, automatically. I think it that's my biggest failing. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go constant combinator. Yeah, if they balance it locks up, that is exactly what happens. That also connects to that. Okay, great. That last one wasn't required. Okay, so we're no longer just randomly guessing. Well, we're no longer making it do any sort of magic. It's now just being controlled by me arbitrarily saying I want a number. And if arbitrarily, arbitrariness is not how you should do things, then I don't care. What I might do is push that up to four, though. She. Let's push this up to six, uh, five. That might actually help it balance a little bit better because it won't pull them out. We'll see. I mean, it's still going to be pulling these out, and I don't really care about that, because that's what we need to be able to take our ship for a test drive. And 
And until we take our ship for a test drive, I don't care about anything. Do they still make the test drive games out of curiosity? You know, the, the racing games? I haven't played one of them for years and years, but I'm just curious. Do they still make them? I know, like, there's the big ones are like the Forzas and the Gran Turismos these days, but does Test Drive still exist? Infinite Research. Oh my goodness. You absolute madman. I don't think my numbers have really helped anything, but, okay. Um... I know what I want to try doing. I'm just curious now. If I have a beam receiver. I know I've got one around. We're just going to take a test flight for no real reason. Beamed energy, exactly. But we are going to be beaming into a... A weird place. We're going to be beaming into the anomaly. Um, actually, out of, out of curiosity, in the anomaly, click on the right thing, uh, which is called Phonestra. There is eight Nequian processes. How many do we need for this? Nine. Oh, you. I just want to see how much power it generates, that's all. I mean, I've got, I'm not doing anything else right now, so I figured, like, let's, let's have some fun somewhere. Uh, and we are going to need high temperature heat exchangers, yes. And we're also going to need high temperature zerby zerbs. Yeah, we'll take two of those. And let's take four of these. I don't think it's actually going to be possible, but let's try anyway. I don't care anymore. Designing ships takes many hours. Does it? I don't know. I haven't found it takes hours. I think you just throw these pieces together and it works. Some can say that's a bit reckless. I would agree. i do it anyway. Ten of those. And four of those. Uh, no, most people are just a lot more careful than I am. I, I just throw things together and go, does this work? Good enough! And then I fly off into the distance. And everyone's like, well, that was strange and concerning. To them I say, you're not wrong. Uh, now, we also need batteries, superconductive cables, uh, a large hamster and a small hamster. Do not forget the hamsters. Holy shit, you forget the hamsters, it all goes wrong really quickly. What am I talking about? Yeah, nothing really. I'm just talking dumb shit. Excuse myself. Yeah, the huge. Um, 
batteries, sure. We need superconductive cables. How many of those do we need? A hundred. Okay, well, let's get another more. Huge. I mean, I don't know how to say it any other way. It's the correct way to say it, the huge. Meteoros? What was Meteoros? That was the game with the, the pieces where you'd like align them and make ships, right? That was a good game if that's the one you're talking about. If it's not, then I don't know what game. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, that's fine. They're going to come back. Yeah, I loved Meteoros. I wasn't particularly good at it, but I loved it. It was kind of anti Tetris, wasn't it? But then you'd launch the ships up and that would make junk blocks. And you'd launch the junk blocks back. That was a fun game. I haven't thought about that game in ages. Thank you for that. And book a helper. I'm learning a lot today. Uh, okay, we want to fly to a planet. Are we going to fly to the... Uh... Well, actually, no, we want to design a ship that can carry water, don't we? Okay, well, well we're designing a ship that can carry water. Or do we just make another Umgar ship? Can't just make Umgar ships, we never. Oh wait, I know what ship to carry. Ah ha 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 ha, yes. Uh, the ship can carry water, the question is can it fly? Can't go far enough with the power that it has. Uh, I'm going to say, yeah, probably. But let's go back to Novice. Okay, we're going to dump 281 uh, petroleum. Why? I'm not banning Soulburn. Don't you tell me who to ban, who not to ban. I can make my decision fairly quickly. You start doing that thing. <laughs> I mean, hell, you want me to ban myself for not knowing of the Almighty Stevensons? Uh, and we are going to be using uh, the planet turned to desert and or just killed all the biters and trees. Uh, no, the the plague missile does not kill the grass, it just kills the trees and the biters. Okay, this is probably going to be a mistake, but we're going to try it anyway. Maybe adding a few more Nequium accumulators might not be a bad idea. Yeah, this is going to be an anomaly adventure. We dumped all my patrol, like... A hundred thousand petroleum to do this. But that's okay. I'm gonna throw some more accumulators on this bad boy on its butt and see what happens. What is this ship called? Oh, it's the Rad Kid! I forgot about that. I don't remember why I called it the Rad Kid. But that's what it's called.
I don't think it was the radiated kid. If we do that, would that pump through more? Not really. I feel like I tried just for a moment and then went in there. If we did this, would that... Oh yeah, I didn't like that. Okay, well that's fine. That's kind of working. There's no way I need this much uh, water, but that's okay. Okay, we're going to go back to Novice Orbit. I didn't, excuse me, Wes, I didn't do any surface new weapons testing there. How dare you accuse me of such things. Can't believe it. Once again. <laughs> uh, okay, so we're just gonna like, throw some more stuff there. To be fair, there's a lot of sponges living under the sea or in a lot of places. That's how sponges are. Do they have square pants? Look, I mean, I can't look at all the sponges. I'm not some sort of like sponge pervert. Usually. I have my moments. <laughs> usually not. I like that, it's just... I mean, sometimes, but usually not. Uh, how are Arcosphere's looking while that's sort of figuring itself out? Um, kind of shit. That's alright. kind of expect that when I'm being aggressive about it. They nuked mainland Australia? Oh, they, they did too, didn't they? I thought they did that. I mean, knowing mainland Australia, they probably nuked some part that was historically important to, like, the Aboriginal peoples. But they're like, yeah, it's fine. It's not important to us. If I'm right on that one, I'm just a little saddened. That was a little bit of a... Uh, it's still a bit of a problem, I suppose. Okay, so we're going to let those uh, input the power on the accumulators, and then we'll uh, see if this terrible boxy little ship can make it somewhere. You know, they say if this boxy ship can make it to a place that doesn't exist, it can make it anywhere. Just going with accumulators. This is a bad idea. This is the worst idea I've had in a while. It's the rad kid! Oh my goodness. Okay, well, it's just gonna charge up for a bit. Factory spaceship is at 18%. We do not want to have to do a second one of these. Uh, so I've run out of fuel two-thirds of the way there. Fuel isn't the problem. I think fuel will be fine. Power might be an issue. And yeah, we might run out of power. And if that happens, uh, then it happens. What happens if the ship gets lost in the warp? Can it be lost in the warp? Can anything get to it after it's going to Finistra? the question that we're all asking isn't it by all i mean it's just me really but it's the question i'm asking okay fully charged let's save just in case we do get stuck in space again we did we fix the oh that's right i was gonna say like um, let's click my thoughts. 
I was like, did I ever fix the button that ship? I was like, no, that's when I realized speed holds. Okay. So we should be okay. Maybe. Who really knows? Who can really explain what happens in this crazy mixed up universe of ours? Actually. I was thinking, should, is it worth going back and just grabbing some more uh, space platform scaffold? And it's like, nah, it's probably fine. Just be a bit smart about it and you'll be alright. I reckon if we also get rid of one of these, because the ship's not going that fast. I mean, 87 is actually pretty damn quick, especially when you start off. Uh, no, I probably can't, because I don't have... Uh, ship walls or solar panels with me. <laughs> oh, we're living dangerously, my holic. It's the only way to live. Live dangerously or don't live at all, that's what I always say. Alright. So while that's happening... Well, that's true. I still don't have the solar panels. I guess, it, yeah, I guess at that point, doesn't the accumulators aren't doing much for me. Uh, so now we're just going to look at Arcosphere and see if we can figure out anything we can do to help. Not really, but at least what's like way too high has changed. So that means we're probably fine. Lambdas are a bit low. Is it worth grabbing more Arcospheres? I think we're fine for Arcospheres. I don't think we need more. I think any more they'll just all turn out to be the same one of like 70 other of them. And jaded he is. Uh, just make sure we've got enough napping processes, we've got enough superconductive cable, we've got enough batteries. What else did we need? Space pipe, we got space pipe. And we needed nine Naquium uh, processes, of which over here there is eight. Yep, and we've got one in my inventory. Uh, we have used 40 megajoules, mega that's alright. Juggling more balls is fun. I mean, I've heard that from a friend of mine, but, you know, he knows more about that than I do. He's a juggler, you see. Anyway, <clears throat> I hope the power lasts for long enough. We've used one fifth, 20% uh, of my power so far. If we get royally stuck, we can always call another ship across. Um, the beam receiver, though, should do the job. It should be able to heat up things. As long as we turn up there with some amount of power, I think we're okay. Just in case anyone's wondering how Calidus was going. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> Silver! <laughs> Ah, I gave you that emote and you used it perfectly. Oh, there's a few rocks, but they, they live there now. Um, just adds to the charm.
you know, you can see where I've been building the longest because that's where the most rocks are. It's a couple of rocks. I wouldn't worry about it. Oh, the auntie is following behind the rad kid. Okay, this one's green. And that one's barrel colored. That uranium is. Are all the rocks green? Are all the rocks barrel? Yeah. Kinda are. Alright, so we are 10 minutes away. Sorry, 11 minutes. I mean 23 minutes. I mean 15 minutes. I mean 16 minutes. I'm not going to keep doing that joke. So we don't know where we are right now, but that's okay. How about that emitter on Kellis? I did. I did make another one, yeah. I've made a couple since then, but thank you for asking. I'm always on a journey of some sort. Usually self-discovery. Uh, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if I do say so or not. People are still going to question it. That's fine. I appreciate the question. Just because people care. People really care about the Midrach Calidus. Uh, and it is long since been replaced. Uh, and duplicated. And more added to it. Uh, but people do still need to ask. And I appreciate that. Because if you don't ask, you don't know, right? It's the number one thing I say to someone I'm training. You gotta ask your questions. If you don't ask your questions, how are you gonna learn? Oh, I mean until tomorrow, right? Or until next stream. We have to seize. I know Z's at the moment, but they'll they'll come along. You're more than welcome to remind me about the Emitter Calidus. I enjoy the joke. I just pretend that I'm mad because it's a funnier thing to do. Going into the antimatter engine. Don't mind me. Warm. Wait, does that actually push me back? What? Yeah, I get pushed back here. Oh yeah, there's a little bit of gravity there. That does sort of push you back. That's cool. Anyway. Uh, hopefully we'll be there soon. Power is almost 50%. make this the last thing I want to do is connect this up okay here's how I stuff this up if I connect this to the place the power is going to be required that will drain my batteries in a matter of seconds like five maybe six probably five or less so we're going to be careful with that we can't let that happen as much as I'd love to see all my power just drain out Five. Yeah, how do you say it? Five. Five. Oh, that remind me of Fi. I see, I see. Now I'm angry again. One, two, three to. No, I left 
that place to get away from Arcospheres. Truly, the Arcospheres will never leave me. Oh, like, how big is your ship that you can carry 20,000 uh, Nequitite on it? You were saying that in the Discord, your ship can carry 20,000 Nequitite. How big is that ship? That's a big ship. It's a big boy. Or girl. You know, I don't mean to gender, misgender your ships, I'm sorry. Okay, so Tesseracts seem to be the problem there, that's alright, they're making Tesseracts. Uh, power is now below half. Hopefully we arrive soon, otherwise we're going to have problems. That's fair enough. I won't be streaming tomorrow, I don't think, and if I do it won't be this game. I'm really getting a hankering for Wilmot's warehouse, and I think the me organizing things is going to be an entertaining thing. Because, I mean, you see me organize a factory, and I guarantee me organizing a warehouse is about as entertaining. With, like, interesting decisions. Interesting decisions. Yeah, Wilmot's warehouse. It's a very good game. Get a bargain there. Don't worry about it. No bargains in Wilmot's warehouse. Just sadness. Oh, we're here. Uh, yeah, let's look, let's anchor over here. That's fine. Okay, so we need more space for that, clearly. So your Amazon employee. Ah, uh, basically, yeah, an Amazon employee in the 80s. Very fun game. Uh, you get, basically you get a shipment of things every round, and then you have to like figure out where to put them, and then after that people come along and tell you what they want. Uh, which is really funny, because then you don't remember where you put your things. Uh, this is not going to be generating a lot of heat. Your toilet breaks in the warehouse? Uh, probably, yeah. Who knows? Um, that is not generating near enough power. Yeah, so you just basically, you don't choose what you get in the, the, the warehouse, you just get random items. And so you start going like the question of like, okay, well, this is a helmet. So a helmet is defense. Okay, and this is a pair of sunglasses. That can go with the wave, that's a beach. Okay. Okay, goggles. A goggles beach or a goggles defense? Wait, the sun's over there. Should the sun be with the beach or is the sun with the planets? And yeah. Helmet is clothes. Well, yeah, but is weapon clothes? Uh, look at the percentage. Yeah, that that's the problem with the game. Look for Nistra and the star energy solar view. Oh, yep. It's, it's bad. It's real bad, I know. Uh, it's like 0.34. Uh, we might actually have a problem here. That's not going to generate any power. Just take that away for a moment. Many times 0.34. Oh, that. That's a small percentage. I don't need to do the maths on that to know that's real bad. <sighs> 68 milliwatt, uh, megawatts. Thank you. 
Oh, I gotta power it too. No, 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 I'm not powering that. It's gonna take all my power. Uh, okay, so I think what we're finding now is we gotta leave right now, and we may not actually make it back. We might be in trouble, guys. Power with my spaceship? No, if I power with my spaceship, I'm not returning. Oh, wait. Uh, they do have stuff. Look at the condensers. They don't have much, though. That's the problem. I, I don't think I'm going to... I don't think this is going to help. I think we're going to be... I mean, look, we'll take some floors. Um, take some walls. Do they have solar panels? Actually, if they have solar panels... No, I think I took all the solar panels already. does that need to get before the condensers will go on? No, it's going at point 0.3. That's, that's not going to work. Oh, 165. God, no, no, we're leaving. We're leaving. Imagine how stressed that ship must be, guys. Uh, there is no way in hell this ship's going to make it back. I'll put that out there. You stole that ship. It's hilarious. Uh, there's no way in hell we have enough power to get back. We're going to be in trouble. I mean, we do have an antimatter reactor. Actually, actually... We might be okay. Nah, we're fine. Anything except uh, anything to prove we're wrong. No, we've got walls, we've got floors, we've got a antimatter reactor. We'll be fine, and we've got water. We're fine. Uh, thanks, Maholic. I really appreciate your advice and taking stuff from the ship. I almost proved Wes right. By the way, Wes, I give you shit, and I hope I hope you're totally cool with it. I am entirely joking when I give you shit. I just want to be clear on that. And I mean, I think you know that, because otherwise you'd be like, I'm done with this shit. <laughs> just steal. Steal everything. Absolutely. That was my motto when I was a child. Steal everything. It wasn't my motto when I was a child. I don't think I ever stole anything as a child. Well, I probably did. Steal yourself. Uh, one would say I've already stolen myself. I don't know where I am. <laughs> oh, the first mistake was one of my proudest moments. That was a ship that got home. Well, it got me to safety. Uh, factory spaceships at 24%. Hell yeah, we're getting there. I don't know if Wes was there. I don't remember Wes being there for that. Maybe I was wrong. Hey, and to be fair, the mis it was I've only had three ships that are called the mistake so far. Um, that was a special mistake. Yeah, the original mistake was a, a hell of a journey. It made it to orbit fine, and then I decided to try and get the asteroid field. 
with not enough anything. I had a, everything just sort of came into place and it was alright. I remember that ship so fondly. I think the ship still exists, but I think it's been changed a few times. Like, I think this is... Yeah, this is the mistake, but it has since been changed quite a few times. Um, but it's a good ship. It does well. It's really not ready for that, but... Looks like it's stabilized at 18 uh, gigawatts. Yeah, 61 megawatts is the best that can do. Wow. So amazing. I like how we're just gathering, like we came here just to gather heat and then we just left. Actually, if we really got stuck, we could have just made the antimatter uh, things. That would have worked. If you beam the energy to a non-receiver, does it burn? Uh, there is a particular thing called the glaive mode. I'll, I'll show that off. Because it's something I can do right now. So there is the glaive mode. I will attach that to something that's a little bit less bad. Go. Okay, we'll change the planet to Moriyama. Because I know Moriyama's got some problems. Uh, Moriyama. And then if we change it to, let's change the destination, stay here. And then we change it to a glaive mode. Then yeah, it does burn. Not doing particularly well, but it burns. This one's pretty weak though, unfortunately. Uh, I wonder if you how powerful you can make them, but they will kill. You can also put it on autoglave mode, where it'll just sort of wander around on its own and burn things. Last time I did that, it just sort of burned straight through my base, uh, and I swore never to let, do that again. Oh, trees! Goodbye, trees. Oh yeah, it's heckin' rad. You know, it leaves like a swath of like burnt ground behind it. Hey, he's trying to get away. Oh no, never mind. Hell yeah, it's radical. Anyway. I don't know if they know you do this. I don't know if it makes them want to attack you. Boil the ocean. Mmm, don't threaten me with a good time. Alright, let's uh, stop that. Don't energize them, though. Sadly, I don't think you can boil the ocean. Okay, the rad kid's coming in, but I'm pretty sure we don't have enough power for it to make it. Which is fine. If it doesn't make it, then we'll just add like a reactor into it and it'll figure itself out. It doesn't even need that much power. Uh, I kind of hope so. I, I mean, I don't even know what the expansion is going to add. I don't even know what I wanted to add, to be honest, but I'm just... 
you know, somewhat excited regardless. As I think many Factorio players are. Like, just give me more Factorio and I'm, I'm happy. You know, don't change the core game. Don't... You don't need to do much. You know, just, just make more Factorio. I suspect water stuff as well. It does make sense. Hey, give me more Factorio, I'll be happy. That's all I want. I mean, it's probably still going to be months away, so maybe we shouldn't be too excited about it just yet. Maybe. Yeah, I've seen June playing uh, something with like a ship based thing. We have the ground. Do we have the ground? Okay, we are out of power now. That's all right. We knew this day was coming. I mean, this is how you fix all your problems, right? <laughs> the ship must... The ship grows. Uh, and then we put... I see the plane mods. They look neat. How warm do we need to get? 5,000 degrees. Okay. for a condenser turbine we do <laughs> there we go go another couple yeah this is not really what this ship's supposed to be but it'll do the job A bit of a wasted sh uh, journey, to be honest. And until factory ship, spaceship four, and the last tech are built, there's not much I can really do. So, who oh, sparkle and Papa? No, I don't. I'm about to be chastised for not knowing who, you know, the West dude knows of someone. I can already see that get more spheres. I don't know if more spheres is the problem. Maybe it is. The problem is all the spheres are in the wrong place. Okay. Who's Red Circuit Team?
Alright. Hey! Power! Ah, okay. Oh, wait, I've heard of them. Yes, I have heard of them. I vaguely know of them. I've, I've come across a couple of their streams. Okay, it looks like this ship should be going, and streamline's not great, which is weird. Because this ship's built like an L Tetris block, and how is that not a great design? I'm honestly confused. Hmm. Oh, the good news is this is, uh... This is heading along. It's, it's making its way. It'll get home. Yeah, I mean, that's true. One should always carry around a pocket reactor and fuel. That was more just when I was building this, uh... The new ship that I just had extra stuff on me. So that was lucky. That's why you don't clean out your inventory all the time. Like, who knows when I'll need these signal transmitters and... I don't need those ever. Oh my goodness. How long have those been sitting in my inventory for? No idea. Ten steel chests? Gosh, I'm glad I got those. I was about to say one offshore pump, when will I need that? But I was just using those. So, I think we're okay. Alright, but the ship will get back. That's what matters. My sexy L-shaped ship. Also, if it finds a Tetris that it can make, it can probably clear three lines. You know, and if you can clear three lines as an L-shaped block, you're pretty happy. But then my ship will disappear, so... You know, you win some, you lose some. It's a high heel indeed. Great, now I'm just remembering the legs, the leg ship from Steven Universe. That was a weird ship. That's why Voltron ships make sense when they transform. Because otherwise, if you're just fighting against a big arm, you're like, I'm not really scared of a big arm. Oh no, it's a lion. Oh, that makes sense. Uh, what Canadian sci-fi? Dead dude, the robot, the cheek. Can't think of the one you talk about, I'm afraid. Wow, it's actually generated enough fuel for it to get all the way back. Antimatter fuel is pretty amazing, actually. The only problem is it does take a lot of uh, space. That is the problem with it. 
was kind of thinking I'd be done with this in the next couple of days, but given the factory spaceship and the last tech, I don't know if I will be. Maybe I will go get more arcospheres. I can't imagine it's going to make things worse. Oh, yeah, I remember Lex. That was the big bug ship, right? Or am I thinking of a different show? Hang on, let me look at Lex. I remember, was that the one with the Muppets or was that a different show? No, the one with the Muppets was a different show. Right, the one with the Muppets was the one with like the human pilot and like... What was that one? I don't know. But I remember Lex. I didn't watch much of it, but I watched some of it. Hmm. What's the one I'm thinking of? But yeah, I remember watching some legs. Oh yeah, it's, it's not happy about what I've done, so we're going to have to rip all of it apart now. Okay, s stop, stop! Okay, keep doing what you're doing, I don't care anymore. There we go. Um, there was a lot of flaws with that design and that plan, and we're not going to do that again. Oh, look, I mean, it's better than the petroleum I threw out last time. I mean, we just throw it back on the planet and come down as rain. That's how things work, right? The ship of Theseus. <laughs> Is it the same ship? It doesn't have an antimatter reactor, so I'm going to say no. I think the antimatter reactor made that a very specific ship. Um... Oh. Oh, you're right. I did ship a Theseus it. Huh. Okay. Yep. Fair enough. I did absolutely do that. I didn't even think about it. Yeah. Absolutely, ship of Theseus. I was about to say I've never heard of this, but I've never heard about this. Okay, cool. I really like putting things into here. I wish it would stop. But it seems happy, so I guess I'll let it do what it wants to do. We 
We just need a lot more Tesseracts, really. But then occasionally we get some cool the new powers as well. Out of curiosity, if I stopped building spe factory spaceship four for a moment and just did the final tech, how does that work for now? Does it work for now? Does it do anything? Do a bit. It's 52, 53. It'll probably jump up like a few percent. Seems a weird thing the Sci-Fi Channel would try and do a re like a answer to or response to. Uh, yeah, 54%. That's good. Should be able to get a bit higher than that. Hopefully, about 50. If we can get to 60%, I'll be pretty happy. I don't know if that's going to be plausible, but it'd be nice if it was. How are we doing? We are almost out. No, we still got 108 of them. Okay, well, that's fine. And 90 space threes, which I still needed, of course. We might be able to get 60% on this, actually. It's a very exciting concept. Also, having going through all of this, I guess the tech is going to go a little bit crazy for a while because it's trying to catch up on all the stuff we just built. Uh, eight left in the box. Come on, 60%. 60%! So... It's getting there. Still got plenty to go though. I think that's fine, doesn't need to all be done at once. Do just need to get a little bit more science made. And tesseracts seem to be the holdup. How rude. Oh goodness gracious. Those numbers are ridiculous again. Alright, going to four. Four always seems to be like a better place. Always phi as well, that's what I've noticed. Always phi. Phi. I don't know Wi Fi. <laughs> wi Fi. <laughs> Maybe because these two things both output phi and that's what breaks it. That would kind of make sense. Guarantee output to phi? Yeah, it's a guarantee output to phi, and this one's also, I think, a guarantee output to phi, so that's what happens. But these two both fire, fire, and that makes the number of phi's go up by too much. So if, in theory, we were to turn this one off. probably get into a situation where Fies wouldn't absolutely wreck us. But then would we be in a problem with technology? 
Uh, yeah, probably. Well, we need 40... Nine? No, 39% left of 10,000. Okay. So let, let's figure this out for a second. Our calculator. There we go. So 39% of 10,000. Could have actually figured that one out on my own now that I think about it. Uh, divide that by 2.5. Divide that by a number that is relevant. Divide that by 8. So we need 195 to be able to finish this. Okay. The question is, how many of these do we have? I don't think we have 195 of them, but... Although, oh, we're so close. Great calculator mod. Yeah, it is, except for the fact that it's, you mean, uh, this one? It's good, except for the fact that it has crashed me, like, the game twice, so. Uh. Why did that not fire? I'm not too fond of it when it crashes the game, so I have stopped using it a little bit. Oh, because they're all charging. Interesting. Yeah, power is where it craps out on me, so it makes me a little bit apprehensive. Okay, so really if we can just make lots of tesseracts, we should be in a better space. Okay, so we're at 40 and 60%, that's pretty funny. Um, Okay, so despite my changings to make make less fies, we are now making just as many fies. Wonderful. If not more. But that is the main problem with the Tesseracts, is they're always making fies. Is there anything I can do that just... HY. Oh, I knew what I meant. Uh, fies. Is there anything I can do to make fires and something useful? I mean, they go to Nequian processes, but I don't know if that's necessarily what I needed. Base warping data is not something I necessarily need either. You gotta burger flip them. Why are they being burger flipped? It's just not clearly enough. In fact, it's actually gotten worse since I turned that off. It's actually gotten significantly worse. Uh, 
if I got a license, <laughs> if I got a license for those outgoes for years. Uh, no, officer, I thought it was fine because my brother said I could have them. They're my brother's arcospheres. Sound off? No? That's not off. No? Don't, don't think so, I've got sound off. In fact, no, because Sol... <laughs> The whole look was just saying, like, you know, got a burger flipping, but they're, they're getting done. 45% on factory starship or spaceships. Uh, who knows? Hey, welcome back, Gosin. Uh, we got no license. Um,. I didn't even read the road code on these things. It's all going wrong, but it's okay. We don't need to do it for that much longer. Oh, God. Okay. We're going back into panic mode. How does this keep happening? Because I'm bad at organizing things? Surely not. I'm the best at organizing things. Okay, we're gonna have to let it spin and whir on its own for a little while. That usually fixes it. Oh damn, we're at 102. It's clocked over. Oh no. <laughs> It's never been that bad before. This is a new level of bad. This is a new level of bad. I'm glad we got here, guys. I thought we were going to have this under control one day, but I think now I've just got to admit that no, it's, it's absolutely a flawed design. And, uh. Yeah. <laughs> tell me more why I wanted more Arcospheres. Just tell me, because I, I think more Arcospheres just makes it. the wealth disparity so much more different. And heavy QE noises, absolutely. It's it's just getting worse. How? Did it just make more fires? It did. I think it's making more fires because it wanted more omegas. Like I know that's exactly what's happening. Okay. plan. Don't worry, it's not a good one. I call this Operation Get Rid of the Fies however possible. Is this going to have a reverse uh, problem? I can't imagine so. Can't imagine how it's going to make anything worse. You 
You know what? It doesn't it does actually look like it's helping? No, never mind. Zetas are screwed. As, as are gammas. But then a zeta gets made, as does probably a gamma, and then they immediately get turned into things that aren't pies. I mean, actually, actually, I mean, Theta's not doing great, but these Theta's and Lambda's, how are they doing? And now the Z's are too high. That's okay. This is just gonna doom me. I know I know what's gonna happen here. I'm now playing God and this can't end it well. I just got way too many Z's, but you know what? You know what? I don't even care anymore. I think it's fine. We have dealt with 50 or so Fies. And uh, we'll see what happens. I'll let them loose on the factory again. And that also means nothing will be coming through this madness portal. Wait a second, are they not counting the- oh my god, they're not counting there, are they? kind of collapse, but that's okay. You know, unless I want a Tesseract, in which case, eh, actually, Zetas. Zetas are okay. We have to do it manually, which is not great, but it'll... Hardly thrilling viewing, I know, but hey, if it gets made, it gets made, and I don't care anymore. Out of curiosity, how did Fenestra go with heating this? Still getting warmer! <laughs> Not really, though. Five percent to factory spaceship four. Man, I can't wait to take this ship out and find out how I've messed it up. Uh, I just make more speed holes in it. I just have more speed holes are gonna be a problem. I mean, actually, I'll rephrase that. I can totally imagine how more speed holes are gonna be a problem, but. I mean, actually, speed holes will decrease the integrity and thus 
uh, will increase or decrease the amount of thrust the ship needs to get anywhere. That's, I mean, that that's a hull right there that you can be proud of. Try be careful with that phrase, but you know. Add some more speed holes. <laughs> what is a speed hole strat? Oh yeah, you weren't here for that. Um, so the problem is the integrity of this. The hull stress is too high. So to cut down stress, I was cutting holes into my ship. Um, that was the plan. Uh, now, it's not going to be enough. Like, no matter how many holes I cut into the ship, it's still never going to be enough. But what is important is it will cut down stress. And that means the ship will be able to go a little bit faster. Um, thus, speed holes. <laughs> uh, it kind of defies explanation, I'm afraid. No, there's no room for more speed holes there. Um, so yeah, this is the speed hole strat. Um, it's it's pretty much a pro gamer move, just in case you were wondering. Which I'm, I'm pretty sure you were wondering. You know, every little bit helps, as they say. I mean, look at this. Look, look at this. We're, that's not even a speed hole, that's just a big gap that we can use. <laughs> I mean, yeah. All the Omni Sire and all that jazz. Speed holes. Look at that! Look at that extra hull integrity space we can have. Oh, look at that, we can just go boop a doop a doop. There we go, look at that. Bam, three more, more space. That might even, e that might even actually increase uh, streamlinedness as well. I don't really know what else to do while I wait for this tech to be done, so we're just making speed holes. <laughs> uh, streamline, 76%. Hull integrity? Oh man, we got hull stress down by like... A few hundred. Damn, this is actually... I hate to tell you guys, but this, this speed hull strat's OP. integrity we get. Hell, if we cut off enough, we might actually be able to fly this. Oh, that'd be awkward if we could fly it without doing anything else. That, here we go. A bit more space. Yeah! Looking good, guys. Looking real good. That's some good speed haulage. But more there? So you just gotta cut holes out. Oh yeah. Cut down another 40. Nice! If we... Oh, you know what? There's another spot right there. Bam! Got another bit.
I mean, honestly, if you contact the mod creator and said, hey, someone's on your mod making speed holes, he'd be like, yeah, that that's a desired impact. That's, honestly, I'm surprised people aren't doing that already. That's what you'll get, so be careful that goes in. You'll realize that was as the mod creator intended. And then you'll feel a little bit silly. And I don't, I don't want you to feel silly. I think that would make me, that'd make me feel sad, so, you know, just don't bother about it. Just be like, yeah. This is as the creator intended. This is intelligent design. Done right. And uh, everyone's happy with this. This is not heresy. This is correct play. They are windows. Oh! <gasps> yes. Guys, we should play in the speed holes. <laughs> Put a door in the speed hole! There's zero G fun rooms. So when you're on that long journey, you can like go into zero G and fly around for a bit. And then everyone's happy. Zero G fun room. Whee! Okay. Now that we've created a lot of zero G fun rooms, I think this is actually about the most we can cut out. Unless. No, I don't think it's going to work. I was thinking we've moved the ship like a little bit to the side, but I think if we can pack the ship much more, it's not. It's only going to give us a few, and it's going to be a lot of work to do it. Good news, factory spaceship is at 50%, uh, which means that will be the end of that. But we have cut down like an extra 250 hull stress. Um, which is actually pretty impressive. What if? No, that's not gonna work. <laughs> Never mind. We're really worried about launching this ship. When we launch the ship, we're gonna know how bad it's actually going. The speed holes now called zero G fun rooms. Obviously. Okay, how are we going over here? Uh look, I'm better than expected, honestly. We not have uh Wow we don't okay I guess we gotta go get more some more speed modules. I mean cutting out a two hundred and fifty Structural integrity is actually a pretty big deal. You know? I don't remember who said it before, but like any good engineer, I started to cut corners. Oh, whoops. Here I was trying to make sure that we didn't make only the best, but... Turns out, I have been betrayed. It's rather typical, honestly, every now and then you gotta expect some betrayal in your life. Cool. 
And also, Valdak, the holes you made in your ship, half the ship was a hole. You're the one that inspired this madness, so go send you can go blame Valdak. <laughs> I claim no responsibility for the disaster that's befallen us. If we keep making tesseracts, then things will be pretty good. Beldak, the first ship hole mage. I mean, you know. If there's one thing I trust Valdek in doing, it's hand-to-hand -hand combat on a spaceship. And how do you do that? Need holes. Yeah, exactly. Why Valdek is always some sort of mantis warrior, because he's going to fight near a, sh a speed hole. That's what he likes to do. And I I'm not going to tell Valdek not to do that. I mean, you can tell him if you want, but I, I warn you, he'll throw you in the speed hole. I mean, maybe that's where you want to be. In that case, go for it. Fill your boots. I don't even remember where that started from, but I'm pleased that it's happened. Don't smile. Don't, don't smile. Don't cry because it's over. Smile because that happened. Say right. Uh oh, we got like a whole bunch of speed science packs fours. Maybe we'll turn those on for a little bit. I mean, I don't know which one of these is going to be finished first, but quite honestly, it doesn't matter. They both need to be done. And then when we take this thing off, we see if we can reach 250, and if it can't, then... This mod has too many science packs. It does! I mean, the thing is, you don't really need all of them very often. Right now, I'm only using 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11... Never mind, 11 science packs at a time is too many science packs. I'm back with you. way too many science packs at a time. The important thing is they are being used. Yeah, I don't think a lot of science packs are necessarily needed. I mean, like, C-Block only had, what, like, seven? I think C-Block only had, like, the number of uh, ones in base game plus an extra. I do indeed. I've got level nines in almost all the slots. And the ones that don't have level nines have level eights. And I'm holding four level eights, which means I can have another level nine. I mean, it's going to give me like a 2% boost, which is not much, but... Eh, I mean, if it saves you one science pack, take it, right? In fact, that's going to give me two. Nine! So argumentative today. That'll put all of them on nines. Okay, we got full nines.
Fox Mechina? Does I tell? Animation for what? Ah, uh, okay. I've never really listened to Critical Role. Like, I know people really like it, but I'm just like, eh. <laughs> I've always found, like, real play Dungeons & Dragons kind of just a weird thing to watch. Like, I really love the game, and I will... Like, I mean, I don't know if you can see behind me, I've got my books back there. I don't know if you can see them. Because I hate D&D, excuse me. No, I love D&D. I've loved D&D since I was six, before I understood what D&D was. Um, right now I am playing a... in our current game. I'm playing a Loxodon Warlock, who is Fae Touched, uh, and he serves who we call the Tooth Lord, who is basically... the Tooth Fairies all work for the Tooth... Yeah, the Tooth Fairies all work for the Tooth Lord, so he's just like got these gleaming white tusks. Um... And he doesn't particularly like dreaming, because that's where the Tooth Lord commands him to do things. I, I love... I love d and I played d and properly for like... Gosh, how many years now? Uh... Probably 15 years? No, it'd be longer, it'd be since I was 19. Yeah, about 17 years. Uh, it's mostly been with the same group. Um, and... No, my years are wrong. I haven't done the maths right. I don't care, though. Um, but yeah, I've played games. I've run games. I've run games successfully. I've run games that failed. I've played games that, like, full campaigns. I've played games that failed after character creation. You know, I've, I've, I've run the gambit. Um, that's good. It's a good game. The Gamut. Oh uh, yeah, that's probably not Gambit. Gambit would be like a ploy. Hang on. I don't. I don't know if I'm being corrected or if I'm actually just wrong. Just a second. Oh, look at that. How long have I been wrong on that answer the rest of the whole entire life? Wow, thank you very much for correcting me. I appreciate it. No one's ever corrected me on that, so I guess, you know, like they say, it's a doggy dog world. I hate when people say it's a doggy dog world. It's not a doggy dog world. It's not a doggy dog. It's a dog eat dog. It's not a doggy dog world. Not a doggy dog. Bothers me when people say those sorts of things. It's not the phrase. The phrase is not it's a doggy dog world. It's not a doggy dog world. It's water over the bridge is the one that also... <laughs> bone apple tea. Water over the bridge also makes me laugh. Oh, it's water over the bridge. That's bad. People are dead now. They were on the bridge. They're no longer on the bridge. For all intents and purposes. Oh, yeah. That's a good one, too. Water over the bridge is the one that bothers me lately. Hmm, we're getting a lot of theaters. That's alright. I mean, that's not like a mispronunciation, like, uh, doggy dog world, bone apple tea, for all intents and purposes. That's like a misunderstanding, a mishearing. Water over the bridge is just, I don't understand this. 
We'll burn that bridge when we get to it. Uh, I mean, I have said that before, int fully intending to burn a bridge. Not physically, obviously, but I was like, look, when that problem comes into it, then we'll cut off all contact and, you know, be absolute shitheads about it. But until then, until we get to that bridge, yeah, we'll let it continue. So it's kind of the same thing. We'll cross that bridge when we come to it, and also we'll burn that bridge when we get to it. You can't burn the bridge before you get to it. That doesn't make any sense. How are you going to burn the bridge? You're not there. You're going to get to the bridge, then you burn the bridge. Unless you have some sort of remote bridge burning device, and that just... You don't have that, probably. You can with glaive mode. <laughs> yeah, okay, I stand corrected. You can indeed with glaive mode. Oh. You know, what? I'm yawning. I seem to be tired. I think now is as good a time as any to call it for the night. I think next session will be the last one. I'm pretty sure next session will be done. Um, you know, this new ship will need to... Uh, Reform, of course. But it's got speed holes, so how can I not? What's it called? The Terror of the Sky, that's right. So, if the Terror of the Sky does perform to expectations, uh, then I think that will be it for space exploration next session. Um, so be sure to be there for that. Because we're going to have to sort that out. Oh, we'll get there. We'll get that sorted out, don't you worry. And uh, then we'll have to start on the next mod, which I've got a plan for that. Oh, I've got a plan for that. We're going to be doing a base game. <laughs> no, we're not. Not doing base game. Uh, yeah, I've got a couple of ideas. One of them I'm going to be playing around with on the weekend, seeing if it works. <laughs> Um, and it's going to upset a lot of people. So, I'm not doing it to upset people, I'm doing it as a challenge. Uh, and that will be base game with a, a very small mod. Uh, but I might need some help with that, so I might need to have a look at modding or figure out if someone can help me. Because um, I think the mod isn't working at the moment, I need to get it working. But I think it's an easy one. So... Have a look at that. Uh, alternatively, we'll be looking at Danger Roars uh, with like a full random pattern. Because, why not? So that's what I think I'm doing next. Uh, if I can get that mod that I really want working going, uh, then it will be base game until a certain technology. And then, uh, then the, the, the people coming into the chat and going, what the f*** are you doing? Uh, that's when that joy will start. And I look forward to that. Game already kind of broken before Steve started. <laughs> yeah, well, it's a mod that didn't make it onto 1.1. I don't even think it made it to 1.0. Um, and this is something that I've wanted to do, and now I know how to do it, because I've learned a lot with circuits, and circuits will be required for this. Um, boy, if you like spaghetti... Oh boy, I hope you enjoy this next one. But that's if I can get it going. If I can't get it going, then we're not doing that. Then we're just doing Danger Roars. Uh, but we'll see. Um, but anyway, with that, I have got to head off. Thank you everyone for watching as always. Uh, if you are new here and you've enjoyed what you've seen today, first off, really secondly please do consider giving a follow i would really appreciate it uh if you're here and you're already following thanks for being here really appreciate it uh, as i said next session will probably be the final one of space exploration because i don't think i'm going to do all that secret stuff i can't be bothered 
Um, so be sure to be here on Saturday for that, Saturday night, same, well, Saturday time, same time around here. Um, yeah, yeah, you guys, you guys are the best, absolutely. Um, there's not a lot that's been built this session, and you guys have made it so much more fun. Um, talk of speed holes, the mocking, I love it, I love it all, and that's what, you know, if you're not making fun of the streamer, what are you doing? Uh, you can also subscribe if you do so wish. Uh, there's some cute cat emojis. Maybe you can find a use for those of the little empress. Um, but yeah, if you want to subscribe, you absolutely can. Do not feel like you have to. Never feel like you have to. But if you want to, hey, the option's open to you. Uh, other things. So I, these videos are also uploaded. <laughs> I know they're the cutest, right? I need to get more made at some point. I don't really have more spaces. And then there's also the bowl of spag, which you know what? The spag bowl can be used for all sorts of things. Mostly spaghetti things, but I actually need to flatten that base. I don't know how it sits there. I need to make that base flat. Um, I didn't really think about that. Who made the cats? Uh, the person who made cats is, hang on, I'll find her Instagram. Because she does a lot of cute art, but uh, it's my cousin who on uh, Panda's side. So I can at least post that. Uh, if I just go to Instagram, I'll be able to find it from there. Haha, -ha, that's the trick. Nepotism. Well, hey, I did pay her. I do want to put that out there. I didn't just go, ha ha ha, I want free work. Uh, God, I have followed weird shit lately. Come on, where is. I don't know how to use Oh wait, there we go, Nicholas. I just go to you, so I here we go. Uh, so anyway, the artist who did the cats is Nicholas. I guess it's illustrations. She does a lot of soft pastel work, which I really liked, um, and she drew adorable cats. And I was like, huh, I'd like to commission some cats. So check her out. <laughs> I like her art a lot. Uh, apparently she's got commissions open. Hmm, interesting. Anyways, um, where was I? Yeah, everything's on YouTube. Discord, yes, if you want to co contact me outside of normal streaming hours, you can find me on Discord. Usually it's just me and Veldak talking about Veldak's crazy inventions, but, you know, you're welcome to be there. It's, everyone's welcome, say hi, and, uh, you know, or don't, that's fine too, but you can do that up to you what you do. I'm not in control of you. I'm not your dad. Probably. Uh, <laughs> anyway, thank you everyone for watching and uh, I hope you guys jo join me when uh, we finish this. Hopefully on Saturday. I'm pretty sure it'll be Saturday. We're just going to do the last bits of tech. Unless Arcospheres really break us, we'll get done. Thank you for watching and I'll see you then. You're not my toy, absolutely. <laughs> Bye everyone.